It's time for Lyman Eagle Sports on 99.1 KNYN and on MyLocalRadio.com. Lyman Sports are brought to you by Uinta County School District Number 6, Evanston Regional Hospital, Ready, West Star Printing and Rocky Mountain Sign, The Come On In, Freeway Tire, Toronto Valley Credit Union, Uinta County School District Number 4, Black's Fork Dental, Cash Valley Visitors Bureau, Covalos, Y High Credit Union, and Hoover Chiropractic Clinic. This broadcast is made possible through an agreement of Cook Brothers Broadcasting, Lyman High School Athletics, and Uinta County School District Number 6, and is a production of Cook Brothers Broadcasting. This game is intended for the private, non commercial use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or reproduction of this broadcast without the express written consent of Cook Brothers Broadcasting is strictly prohibited. Now, let's go out to the Union Broadcast. Welcome live inside the Union Broadcast booth. Anthony Collison live from Bill Bush Stadium here at Lander Valley High School as the 2-2 two and two Lyman Lady Eagles face off against the 1-1 one one Lander Valley Lady Tigers. After the break, we'll start the Big Country Properties pre-game show. This is the First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Lady Eagle Soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the MyLocalRadio Sports Network. Buying or selling is a simple process if you're working with the right real estate agent. This is Bobby Dalzell, broker with Big Country Properties. We have agents serving both Lincoln and Uinta counties that can assist you with all of your real estate needs. We are the top listing and selling brokerage in the Bridger Valley and strive to be honest, hardworking, and thorough. Whether buying or selling, we make it happen. Call us today at Big Country Properties, 307-782-3556. When participating in sports, there's always a lot to talk about performing at the top of your game. I'd like to expand on that and ask, how about performing at the top of your game in every part of your life? This is Dr. Todd Hoover with Hoover Chiropractic. I offer solutions to help improve all aspects of your game called life. Pain management, migraines, allergies, emotional release, nutritional supplements based on blood tests, and improved athletic performance. To help you perform at the top of your game every day, call today to schedule an appointment in Evanston or in Kemmer, Hoover Chiropractic, 307 789 9 Serving the Bridger Valley since 1987, Bridger Valley Motors are your engine repair experts. Along with engine repair, Bridger Valley Motors offers towing services, tire alignments, brake repairs, and more. Visit Bridger Valley Motor at 217 North Main Street in Lyman. <laughs> We're off to the rodeo. My Local Rodeo is proud to bring you live streaming coverage of high school rodeo from Utah and Wyoming, as well as the Intermountain Icebreaker of the National High School Rodeo Association's Western Legacy Series in 2023 and 2024. If you're interested in becoming a broadcast sponsor and advertising your business to the most loyal group of viewers in the country, you won't find a better opportunity. Call us today to claim your spot, 307-789-8116. That's 307 307- 7-789-8116. We're off to the rodeo. Auto, home, life, renters, and business all have one thing in common. They all need insurance. Choosing the right agent is always hard. Choose the agent that takes a professional and individual approach to each client. At Farmers Insurance in Lyman, you will find that agent. Farrell is a down-to-earth person who loves hunting, fishing, and above all, his family. Come in and visit him and his friendly staff for a quote today at 37 Mountain Meadow Street, Suite B in Lyman. Welcome back live inside the Union Broadcast booth. Anthony Colson live on the call for this 3A West Conference matchup between the Lyman Lady Eagles and the Lander Valley Lady Tigers here at Lander Valley High School at Bill Bush Stadium. 
Both these sides warming up right now. War will warm up with the Farmers Insurance scenes for both these sides. The Lady Eagles 2-2 two and two on the season. They started out with a loss 2-1 to one to Buffalo, but then a win 3-0 versus Pinedale, and then an 8-1 loss to Douglas. That was all at the Pinnacle Soccer Tournament up in Warland a couple weeks back. And then last week, they won the first part of the 2024 Bridger Valley Classico against the Lady Buffaloes 3 to 2 Carly Sabi at the go ahead goal with about 20 minutes left to go and that sealed the win for the Lady Eagles as flipping the script and looking at Lander Valley 1 and 1 on the season a 4-1 loss to Jackson Hole and then a Six nothing win against Mountain View a couple weeks back at Green Space Field down at Mountain View. So it's going to be an interesting matchup today. You have a team that's played four games versus a team that's only played two, but also high stakes involved. Both one of these squads, well, actually both these squads, want to go two and zero in conference play. Only one will achieve that honor today, and we'll see who it is. That's the Farmers Insurance scene set here on the Big Country Properties pre-game show. This is a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Lady Eagle Soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the MyLocalRadio Sports Network. The tires you drive on matter. Tire quality and condition affect overall safety and how your vehicle performs. Having the right air pressure in your tires even affects gas mileage. Don't trust your tires to just anybody. Choose Freeway Tire to handle all your vehicle maintenance, including regular tire checks and rotation. When it comes to your vehicle, choose the team that really knows tires. Freeway Tire in Evanston. Stop in today. At Why High, we are with you is more than just three simple words. It encompasses the principles we live by to serve our members and local communities. So if you're looking to keep your banking relationships local with a partner who will always be there for you, look to us. We're Why High. We're Wyoming. We're with you. Visit whyhigh.org to learn how you can be a part of something bigger today. Precision, the quality, condition, or fact of being exact and accurate. Precision is important. Scoring the next point, making the perfect shot, getting the best score. And when you think of your dentist, you want precision to be the first word that comes to mind. That's why patients are so pleased with Dr. McKay Frankham. He provides precision family dentistry at reasonable prices to every patient. Dr. McKay Frankham, call today for an appointment. Call Dr. McKay Frankham at 789-8910. Here with Abilio Montero, head coach of the Lander Valley Lay Tigers. And here with Abilio Montero, head coach of the Lander Valley Lay Tigers. And coach, right now, Lander is in a good spot at the beginning of the season. How do you plan to keep the momentum going versus Lyman? Um, you know, we just had spring break, so that was um, a bit of a, an issue because we didn't practice during spring break. So, what we're going to try to do is starting today if we practice and try to bring back that uh, that momentum that we had before the break um you know make practices um competitive so the girls get that competitive edge back and hopefully they will be have a good showing against Lyman. what are you planning on implementing in practice this week of course with the prior week being spring break for your squad I um, mean, for this week, we, we're going to try to, you know, it's a mix of um, getting back that uh, physical fitness and then also the sharpness, you know, the touches on the ball, all that stuff. Um, that's that's going to be the focus for us this week because, you know, we take a week off after a game. And it's kind of it's kind of hard to get that back really quickly. But at the same time, we also want to, um, uh, to, to correct some mistakes that we made in the last game. So that's going to be our points of emphasis for this week and hopefully when we get to Thursday we'll, we'll be ready to go what are you expecting from the Lady Eagles on Thursday 
Um, I expect a tough game. I mean, uh, they have a couple of wins already this season, so I'm pretty sure they're they're in a good spot. Um, so hopefully we can uh, bring our A game and uh, have a solid game, and hopefully get get a win. That's that's the objective for every game. That's all the questions I have, Abilio. Thank you so much for your time, and good luck on Thursday. Uh, thanks, man. Bye. We'd like to thank head coach Abilio Montero of the Lander Valley Lady Tigers for joining us here on the Jake Major with the Bulk Agency of Wyoming pregame coaches show here on the Big Country Properties pregame show. We'll have more after the break. This is a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Lady Eagles soccer here on MyLocalRadio.com and the MyLocalRadio Sports Network. Light up your world with a custom-built LED sign from Rocky Mountain Sign in Evanston. It's a proven fact that signage that lights up creates more attention. So light it up and then add text, images, and video, and your sign becomes even more powerful. Start sharing your advertising messages and information with your customers today. The team at Rocky Mountain Sign provides all types of quality signage that is custom-built and maintained. Call today for a free quote. Rocky Mountain Sign, 307-789-5202. Rocky Mountain Sign, serving customers in Wyoming, Utah, and Idaho. Get back to feeling your best with Evanston Regional Hospital Physical Therapy. If you find yourself struggling with pain or limited mobility in your everyday life, your recovery starts here. With a personalized treatment plan just for you, our experienced physical therapists will help you every step of the way to reach your goals and get back to doing what you love. Call us today to schedule an appointment. Evanston Regional Hospital, helping you get your life back. Are you looking for a dental experience that's quicker, more precise, and more comfortable? Look no further. Welcome to Black's Fork Dental, where we bring you the latest in dental technology with our Trios 3D Scanner. Our team can scan images of your teeth and gums in seconds, ensuring precise measurements and accurate results, allowing us to design personalized treatment plans tailored to your unique needs. Whether it's crowns, bridges, or clear correct treatments, we've got you covered. Right now, we're offering a 10% discount on any scan procedure. Schedule your appointment with Black's Fork Dental at Black's Fork dental.com where advanced technology meets compassionate care at the best western dunmar in evanston we understand that breakfast matters that's why every room reservation includes a full complimentary breakfast delicious quality food prepared and served by an amazing staff start your day the right way with breakfast at the legal tender restaurant inside the best western dunmar in quality delicious food and excellent service every time because breakfast matters Here with Lyman Lady Eagles head coach Melanie Anson and coach hopping straight into the interview. Last week, the Lady Eagles had a huge win versus the Lady Buffaloes. What were some of the positives of the team's performance on the field? Um, we were we were making good passes, and uh, the girls were just enjoying the game and, and working hard and hustling after every ball it, um, it's nice to be able to play in a warmer weather setting in our first home so I think that helped um, with their positive attitudes out there next question coach tomorrow the Lady Eagles play the Lander Valley Lady Tigers what are you expecting in this crucial road game um, you know we need to uh, work on moving our ball down the field a little bit better and uh, using our defense to help push the ball around the field. So that's what we're looking for. Um, and and when we get overloaded in our back line, our defense um, needs to stay strong and, and stay with it. And, of course, later this week, Lyman takes on both Powell and Cody in some tough matchups at home. How big is it to have those home games, especially with Powell and Cody traveling far distances? Uh, we really like to have Powell and Cody at the same time over the weekend. Um, having them travel down to us this early in the year is nice instead of having to go up there and um, compete. Um, with one of our first games to, to actually see how we are. So it's good to have them at home and um, the first part of the year, we're excited to do it. That's all the questions I have, Coach. Thank you so much for your time today and good luck this week. Okay, thank you. 
We'd like to thank head coach Melanie Anson of the Lyman Lady Eagles for joining us here on the Jake Major with the Bulk Agency of Wyoming pregame coaches show. That will wrap up our pregame coaches show segment here on the Big Country Properties pregame show, but much more on the way. This is a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Lady Eagle Soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the MyLocalRadio Sports Network. Hey there, I'm Jake Major, your local Medicare and Insurance Benefits Advisor for the Bullock Agency of Wyoming. With over 25 years of experience protecting families in rural America, we understand the importance of having affordable insurance coverage. Whether you're searching for extra coverage or looking to understand and switch your Medicare options, I can help you find a range of top-rated insurance companies and tailor-made packages based on your needs. Call me, Jake Major, today at 307-209-4685, and let's discuss your insurance options. We're the Bullock Agency of Wyoming, when benefits matter. At Uintah County School District Number 6, each student is important. Each student has different interests. Each student has unique talents and areas for growth and development. We love and appreciate each student, and we work hard to make sure we are meeting the needs of each student so that when we all come together, we create a powerful school district filled with individual students headed for success. Uintah County School District Number 6 in Lyman. It's a great day to be an Eagle. Ready is committed to providing superior services to our customers by requiring individual accountability for excellence in quality, safety, and dependability. We are a growing company that is currently hiring across Wyoming, Colorado, Texas, Nevada, Idaho, and elsewhere. Our valued team members receive competitive wages, full benefits, and weekly pay. Interested in joining our team? Visit ReadyUSA.com. We are ready. Quality is the one thing that you can always count on when you do business with Ellingford Brothers in Evanston. You always get high quality products and friendly, knowledgeable service at Ellingford's. Stop in today, 199 County Road, Evanston. Welcome back live inside the Union Broadcast booth. Anthony Colasino live on the call here at Lander Valley High School inside Bill Bush Stadium as the 2-2 two two Lyman Lady Eagles take on the 1-1 one one Lander Valley Lady Tigers. And welcome into Ellingford Brothers. Keys to the game. And we'll start out with Lander Valley. Key number one for them is going to be stopping the front attack of the Lady Eagles. A very strong, a very quick front attack that likes moving the ball at a really quick pace. We saw it against Mountain View. And that was one of the main reasons why... The final was the way it was in a 3-2 win for Lyman as Lay Buffaloes were outpaced at times uh, from the uh, from the Lyman attackers. For, so for Lander Valley, key number one is going to be watching out for that. Key number two for the Lady Tigers is going to be getting that midfield to push in a little more on the attacking side. They did that well versus Mountain View in their 6-0 win down at Green Space Field. So it's going to be huge for the Lady Tigers to try to push that midfield a little more forward. And key number three for Lander Valley is going to be having the defense on top-notch, ready-to-go availability against a good Lyman offense. As looking at the Lady Eagles, key number one for them is going to be the same for Lander, but just flip it the other way. The Lander Valley attackers are really good at the first touch of the ball. That's how they develop their offense. So, for the Lady Eagles, it's going to be interrupting that first touch and trying to cause havoc on that side. Key number two for the Lady Eagles is is going to be to kind of group around the senior keeper, Addie Nelson. She had a really good day against Mountain View, and the defense was top-notch and ready to combat the Buffaloes. Mackenzie Lim, Kelsey Nebaker, just to name a few, including Kyla Chandler, were all big names on that defensive side of the ball in the 3-2 win. And the final key for the Lady Eagles is going to be, of course, to win today's game. 
But so far, Wyoming high school soccer has only been around for so many years. Right now, Lander Valley leads the all-time series 6-0 according to Max Preps. So key number three is going to be getting key number one and two finished, and that could result in a win today for the Lady Eagles. We'll take another quick break here on the Big Country Properties pre-game show. That was Elling Four Brothers keys to the game. This is a first bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Lady Eagle Soccer here on MyLocalRadio.com and the My Local Radio Sports Network. Farming requires working with the right equipment. At Covalos, you will find the right size tractor, tractor accessories, cattle chutes, and calf corrals for all your farming needs. Covalos has all your auto needs as well. From fluids to belts to protection for your hands, they've got you covered. Covalos also offers a service center for your truck and tractors in one convenient location. Covalos is your one-stop farm and auto shop. Stop in and see them today at 80 Reese Road in Lyman. Covalos, your one-stop farm and auto shop. The best trips away from home always come when you know you're among friends. This is Coulter Patterson, General Manager at the Come On In Hotel and Suites in Casper, Wyoming. I invite you to stay with us every time you're here. We've got the absolute best staff. Lots of our team members have been working together for years, and we feel like we're a happy family. I guarantee you'll feel that when you come stay with us. We're always glad that you choose the Come On In, and we'll do everything to make your stay comfortable and relaxing. The Come On In Hotel and Suites is the best place to stay because we have the best staff in Casper. Come on in today. When participating in sports, there's always a lot to talk about performing at the top of your game. I'd like to expand on that and ask, how about performing at the top of your game in every part of your life? This is Dr. Todd Hoover with Hoover Chiropractic. I offer solutions to help improve all aspects of your game called life. Pain management, migraines, allergies, emotional release, nutritional supplements based on blood tests, and improved athletic performance. To help you perform at the top of your game every day, call today to schedule an appointment in Evanston or in Kemmer, Hoover Chiropractic, 307-789. High School Sports. We love it. We support it. We're your number one fan. Trona Valley is your local credit union, and we're proud to invest in relationships that go far beyond banking. We're proud to invest in the lives of our young members and their love for sports. You are champions in our community, and we're here to support you all the way, on a court, on the field, or elsewhere. Together, let's develop lifelong successful financial habits. You're awesome. Trona Valley, member NCUA. TronaValley.com. We're here for you. Freeway Tire offers a nationwide service protection plan that covers service parts and labor on select systems, keeping your vehicle on the road. Plus, it includes coverage for towing, lockout service, flat tire changing, fuel, oil, and water delivery service, and jump starts. Knowing that your vehicle is covered at over 50,000 dealer locations nationwide provides that peace of mind wherever you are. Get the details. Visit Freeway Tire and ask about the service protection plan. Freeway Tire, 217 Bear River Drive, Evanston. The strategic plan for Una County School District Number 4 states, through collaboration with the entire learning community, our mission is to instill problem-solving skills in our students that will translate to a rapidly changing global environment. We work to accomplish this by constantly improving student achievement, improving student academic and behavioral skills with a district that operates efficiently and effectively. Uinta County School District Number 4, excellence in teaching, opportunity through learning. Bridger Valley Electric Association provides safe, reliable, and affordable electric energy and related services to their member owners in Wyoming and Utah. Bridger Valley Electric is a consumer-owned cooperative. Buying or selling is a simple process if you're working with the right real estate agent. This is Bobby Dalzal, broker with Big Country Properties. We have agents serving both Lincoln and Uinta counties that can assist you with all of your real estate needs. We are the top listing and selling brokerage in the Bridger Valley and strive to be honest, hardworking, and thorough. Whether buying or selling, we make it happen. Call us today at Big Country Properties, 307-782-3556.
Welcome back live inside the Union Broadcast Booth. As soon we'll have starting lines presented by Bridger Valley Electric Association as both coaches talking with their respective sides here as we're close to kicking it off. And a friendly reminder, we have the boys game at 5 p.m. as well as the boys team looks for their first win of the season here up in Lander Valley. And the weather, beautiful today, a little bit windy, but nothing to complain about. Also a high of 67 here and right now the game time temp around the high today so a beautiful day for some high school soccer currently 65 to degrees today here in lander and an amazing day for some soccer ahead as a little bit of a maybe early preview of some good spring weather here today for both of these sides We'll take another quick break here on the Big Country Properties pregame show. This is a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Lady Eagle Soccer here on MyLocalRadio.com and the My Local Radio Sports Network. Hey there, I'm Jake Major, your local Medicare and insurance benefits advisor for the Bullock Agency of Wyoming. With over 25 years of experience protecting families in rural America, we understand the importance of having affordable insurance coverage. Whether you're searching for extra coverage or looking to understand and switch your Medicare options, I can help you find a range of top-rated insurance companies and tailor-made packages based on your needs. Call me, Jake Major, today at 307-209-4685, and let's discuss your insurance options. We're the Bullock Agency of Wyoming, when benefits matter. At Uintah County School District Number 6, each student is important. Each student has different interests. Each student has unique talents and areas for growth and development. We love and appreciate each student, and we work hard to make sure we are meeting the needs of each student so that when we all come together, we create a powerful school district filled with individual students headed for success. Uintah County School District Number 6 in Lyman. It's a great day to be an Eagle. Ready is committed to providing superior services to our customers by requiring individual accountability for excellence in quality, safety, and dependability. We are a growing company that is currently hiring across Wyoming, Colorado, Texas, Nevada, Idaho, and elsewhere. Our valued team members receive competitive wages, full benefits, and weekly pay. Interested in joining our team? Visit ReadyUSA.com. We are ready. Quality is the one thing that you can always count on when you do business with Ellingford Brothers in Evanston. You always get high quality products and friendly, knowledgeable service at Ellingford's. Stop in today, 199 County Road, Evanston. Welcome back live inside the Union Broadcast booth on the beautiful day here at Bill Bush Stadium at Lander Valley High School as right now both teams breaking the huddle and soon we'll have starting lineups presented by Bridger Valley Electric Association, a touchstone cooperative. And right now, both these sides looking to go 2-0 in conference play. So a high-stakes matchup as the winner of this matchup could possibly be in a tie for first or even in a spot to have first place all to themselves. As we pull up the girls' soccer standings, As both sides walk out to midfield right now in the 3A West, it is a a five-way tie for first place at the moment. Cody, Green River, Powell, Lyman, Lander, and oh, also Mountain View. So all these teams have three points apiece. So currently technically a six-way tie for first place. So it's going to be a huge week of soccer in the 3A division to see who kind of comes out on top in these crucial game moments. We'll go radio sign here for the national anthem.
beautiful rendition of the national anthem. As will meet the starters for the Lady Eagles, Addie Nelson, Katie Clegg, Alexis Walker, number five, Mackenzie Lim, number seven, Kyla Chandler, Number 10, Julia Roundy. Number 12, Delaney Walker. Number 15, Owen Hansen. Number 18, Alanis Major. Number 23, Eliza Clegg. And number 29, Carly Sabe, who is also the Wild Preps Athlete of the Week on the girl side. So congratulations to Carly on that honor. As starting lineups for the Lander Valley Tigers, number zero, Aislinn Donahue, number three, Addy Rounds, number five, Tinley Rysick, number eight, Brinley Hammond, number 11, Blue Blackburn, number 12, Mason Morton, number 15, Asin Wesson, number 17, Ella Stansberry. Number 23, Allie Atnip. Number 26, Finley Morton. And number 31, Georgia Chance. Coaches for both sides. For the Lady Eagles, it's Melanie Anson. And for the Lady Tigers, it is Abilo Montero. Well, exit out of Big Country Properties pre-game show to our Scoreboard sponsored by Ben Xays as we're close to getting ready here. Both sides meet up for one last time before we get the ball rolling. Lyman two and two in the year. Lander Valley one in one. Lyman breaks their huddle. Lander does the same as the ball is placed at center field. It looks like Lander Valley will receive the ball first to begin at half number one. The refs are making sure everyone who needs to be on the field is on the field, that everyone is also set and ready to go. And we are underway. Lander Valley trying to get it down right away to Blue Blackburn. That will go out of play. Goal kick for Addie Nelson. And it looks like it's actually going to be a... Yes, it's going to be a goal kick. Sorry, one of the side judges got the ball. And now a quick turnover by the Lady Eagles. Let's see how they respond. They clear out of play. Good clearance by Lim. And it'll be a throw in here for the Lady Tigers. Going down the near side. Blackburn trying to skip along the line. Pass intercepted for a moment. Walker and then cleared out once again. 0-0 zero, zero on the Benedict's A scoreboard here in half number one. And they're going to raise advantage for the Lady Eagles. And a good opportunity here for Lyman to possibly strike first. Katie Clegg to take the free kick. Blackburn trying to intercept. Sabi right there to keep it alive. Play continues here on the near side. Walker trying to get it through. Good touch. Gets it through the legs of Morton. And a clearance here by Morton. And now Atnip has to pass it back to Donahue here, the keeper, to clear it out. Lander Valley trying to build their attack, and that's what they do on the far side. 
Ella Sansbury passes the ball ahead at the mid-third. And now a reset here, but Lyman challenging early in that midfield section. Sabi with the ball at her feet. Tries to send it ahead for Alexis Walker here on the near side. Interrupted by a Lady Tiger and kicked out of play. And it will be a throw in in the attacking third for the Lady Eagles. Walker to take the throw in. Tries to send it down. Hansen with a good touch. Tries to put a shot on net. Blocked away by Addy Rounds. And now Lander Valley trying to get things started on the other end. Blackburn with the ball. Good clearance and a good take by Clegg. Lyman trying to work here on the far attacking third. Pressure early and Lander trying to clear here at the moment. Now to the center circle. Blackburn all by herself and, Ra and Nelson right there to clean it up. Great stop by the senior keeper. Sends it sky high. Still in the mid-third for the Lady Tigers. Stansbury down the far side. Gets the ball cleared away for a second. Morton. Sends it down to Blackburn, and a great save by Addie Nelson. First shot of the day for the Lady Tigers. Hansen pops it up. Atnip right there to steal it away. Walker meets up with Blackburn, tries to bring it back out top. And now Sabi with the ball at her feet, trying to put another brace in her scoring column on the year and touched away Clegg on the far side, trying to keep it in contention. And it'll be a throw in for the Lady Eagles. 0-0 zero, zero here on the scoreboard. Walker. Gives up a good touch. Intended person on that pass was Hansen, but ripped away by the Lady Tigers, and now they're going to try to set up shop. Chance with the ball at her feet. Tries in ahead for Blackburn, but pass a little bit. Aaron and out of play, and it will be a goal kick. 34, 54 left to go here, about six minutes past in half number one. Send ahead instead of by Stansbury. She tries to take a shot. That goes wide of the net. Score remains nil-nil. Goal kick here. Nelson tries to send it down. Blackburn with the interception, but surrounded by a group of Lyman defenders. Blackburn still with the ball at her feet. Sends out more and a high shot and off the crossbar and in. 1 0 in favor of the Lander Valley Lady Tigers. And a great set piece has given Lander the early lead. On their third shot of the day, Blackburn with the assist and Morton with the goal. Great play by Morn, one of the captains here on this squad. At the 34-12 mark in half number one. Clay tries to keep it in play. Intercepted away by Sansbury and Sabi rescues that, tries to send it forward, and she does, trying to find... Julia Roundy, but Roundy could not get the best touch on the ball, and now a throw in for Lander Valley as they throw it all the way to the other side of the pitch. And it'll be a throw in for the Lady Tigers, up one nothing in the attacking third. Sansbury on the far side. 
trying to find help here. Lander Valley trying to get something to work. Once again, Chance with a good dribble and a good clearance for the second by the Lady Eagles. Throwing four linemen. Hansen sends it off to Sadie. Up to Clegg. Correction, up to Roundy. Still a battle here at the center circle for the ball. Lyman with it. Back and forth action between both of these sides. Weston sends it forward for Stansberry. Back to Chance. With the cross in and no good. A little, too more, a little bit too powerful on the cross attempt. And it will be a goal kick here for the Lady Eagles down one nothing in the early stages. Nelson sends that one away. Intercepted by Blackburn. Popped up. Good block by the defensive unit for the Lady Eagles. Lander in dangerous position once again. Morton sends one out to Blackburn. She has to go back to get the pass. Guarded by Lim. Down into the box. And that one chips into the back of the net. 2 nothing in favor of the Lady Tigers. And another goal on the day for Morton. Make it her second. Here at the 32-minute mark. Eight minutes have gone by here in half number one. And two assists on the day for Blackburn. 2-0 on the Bendix A scoreboard in favor of the Lady Tigers. Hansen drops it off to Sabi here in the mid-third. Tries to send it down. Kicked away back and forth here in the midfield. Out of play, and it'll be a throw-in for the Lady Eagles. Thrown here on the far side of the touch line. Fight for the ball. And poked away. Good clearance by Major. And it'll be a throw in for Lander Valley. Good touch by Delaney Walker. Just happens to go out of play. Now a throw in here. Addison, we Addison Weston will throw it in. And Lyman with some good stand-up clearance here on the throw in so far. Trying to limit more of what Lander Valley has done so far on the offensive side of the ball. Major right there trying to poke it away. Sabi against Morton. Back out top to Chance. Chance will power a shot on. Nelson has to run after, and that bobbles out of play. 2-0 the score on the Bendix. A scoreboard in favor of the Lady Tigers. Hadley Wesson in the game for the Lady Tigers. Now a corner kick for Lander Valley. Let's see what they can do. Into the box area. Lyman clears for a second. Blackburn gets the ball at her feet. Cross in. Blocked. Walker and Major teaming up on the ball. Major will kick it away and it'll be a throw in here in the attacking third for the Lady Tigers. 2-0 to score on the Benedict's A scoreboard. 29-35 left to go. We'll go for a side-by-side -side break. Water testing, water development, community enhancement grants, and seedling trees. Education programs and specialty workshops helping to preserve agriculture and natural resources in Uinta County. Uinta County Conservation District is here to serve you. Visit our website today at uintacountycd.com. Wattsmart is Rocky Mountain Power's energy efficiency program. Wattsmart provides rebates to residential customers for energy efficiency upgrades made around the home. Devices and appliances that use electricity in your home can usually be made more efficient and that can save you money and energy. 
When you decide to make upgrades, we have rebates available for you. Visit wattsmarthomes.com today. Welcome back live inside the Union Broadcast booth. Anthony Colasino live on the call. 2-0 the score in favor of Lander Valley and almost another goal, but Blackburn was just barely off sides. And now will be a free kick for the Lady Eagles. Good challenge, and they're going to say advantage for Lyman. Georgia Chance with a little bit of the push against a Lady Eagle. And it'll be a free kick here for Lineman. Clegg sends it down. Walker with a good touch at her feet. Tries to poke it down more in the defensive line. Forlander Valley sends it straight to Blackburn. Morton looking ahead for Weston, and Nelson has to come in and sweep in and save that one from any further damage. 2-0 to score in favor of the Lay Tigers. Back into the middle third and possession so far today has been dominated by Lander Valley. Good clearance on the way by Kyla Chandler. Pinballed off a Lady Tiger and out of play, so it'll be a throw in for Lineman. Julia Roundy back in the game for the Lady Eagles. Throwing blocked away by Lander Valley, and now a counter attempt for the Lady Tigers. Good chance to get into the box, a fight for the ball. Blackburn trying to scoop it away. Clegg battling alongside Walker, helping out as much as she can. Morton with the ball at her feet. Right side, chance. Holds on for a second. Good sliding tackle by Clegg, but still a cross goes in the box and out of play, and it'll be a goal kick for the Lady Eagles. 2-0 to score here in half. Number one on the Bendix A scoreboard. Goal kick ahead by Sabi here for the Lady Eagles. That ball will go out of play, and it'll be a throw in for Lander Valley. Throw in for the Tigers, contested heavily by Lyman, and they're going to say that went off one of the Tigers to try to receive it on the touch. So it'll be Lyman ball and kicked right out of play on the throw in by one of the Tigers. So another throw in here for the Lady Eagles on the far touch line. Into the middle for third. Good header by Chance. Weston tries to send it down to Blackburn and cleared out of play by Alanis Major. And it'll be a throw in on the far side of the attacking third for the Lady Tigers. Two nil a score. Mason Morin already with two goals on the day. Liza Clegg with the ball on the far side, trying to chip it ahead. One lone lineman player in a dozen of Lady Tigers. And now Lander on the counter. They try to send it in. Blocked away. Clegg and Hansen fighting back for it. And Lander has to reset here on the far side and tipped out of play. Subs in the game. Kylie Schultz. In the game for Alanis Major for the Lady Eagles. Two nothing to score here in half number one. Fifty fifty ball here between both sides here at the center circle. Walker tries to run in. As in Weston sends it ahead towards the near side. Blackburn. Still in contention with that ball against Schultz. Good touch by Clegg to keep it out. Back up top to Finley Morton. 
Boren rolls it around to Mason Morin, and now they continue the attack here on the far attacking third, trying to look to get across in, but could not rally behind the pass and a goal kick opportunity for the Lady Eagles. 2 nothing score on the Benedict's A scoreboard. 23-40 left here in half number one. Battle in the mid third between Hansen and Chance. Chance pokes it away, trying to start another attack, and good, good clearance by the Lady Eagles here on the far side of the field. Throw in here for Lander Valley. Up 2-0, 1-1 in one the season altogether. Blackburn with a touch, squeaks through. Shot is in the back of the net. Blue Black. Blue Blackburn with her first goal of the day, and it is 3-0 in favor of Lander Valley early on. Blackburn with one goal and two assists on the day for the Lady Tigers. Goal scored just barely over 17 minutes into half number one. And now Lyman once again going to get ready here in the center circle, and they're going to kick it away. Sabi hands off to Walker. Intercepted away. Sabi right there in front of the Union broadcast booth, bringing ahead now for the Lady Eagles and tripped up. By Finley Morton, and it'll be a touch. It'll be a throw in here for the Lady Eagles. Looks like they're actually going to say free kick, so advantage waved ahead. And now Sabi has a chance to set up something for her teammates. Curves one in to the high portion of the box. The wind carried that just a little bit more than intended. And it'll be a throw in for Lander Valley. Throwing ahead towards the middle third. Sent back down low. Walker with a chance. Kept alive by Delaney Walker. Alexis and Delaney Walker keeping that chance alive for a moment for the Lady Eagles. And now across into layer section. Lim racing back. Nelson there to pick up the ball. 3 0 in favor of Lander Valley and a goal kick by Nelson. First touch by the Lady Tigers. Walker. In the middle third. Setting it ahead. At Nip and rounds back to clear that one. And now Lander Valley trying to get on the ball once again. The defense has fed the midfield. And the midfield has fed the attackers so far today for the Lady Tigers. As the score shows, 3-0. Here on the Benedict's A scoreboard in favor of the Lady Tigers. Trying to cross it in, and that one goes way too far out. And a goal kick for the senior keeper, Addie Nelson. Sabi back to kick this one away. Tries to kick it forward to Eliza Clegg. Clegg on the far side, squeaking through some defenders, gets it up to Hansen. Off to Alexis Walker, and now Delaney Walker with a good touch. Rounds right there to keep it together. And now a counterattack opportunity here by Lander Valley. Morin with the ball at her feet. Looks for an option, tries to curve it in, and it will be a corner kick on the far side for the Lady Tigers. 3-0 the score here at the 20-minute mark. We'll take another side-by-side -side break. Helping young people grow into productive adults is like putting a puzzle together. Each aspect of life is equal to one puzzle piece. Restful sleep, a healthy breakfast, a positive experience at home before school sets the tone for the whole day. Positive student interaction with teachers, district staff, coaches, and peers all add to the puzzle. At Uinta County School District Number 6, we work hard to make each puzzle piece meaningful and powerful for every student. By working together, we can help every student grow into a masterpiece. It's a great day to be an eagle. 
Explore Logan, Utah. We've got so much awesomeness, I don't know where to begin. Your hotel is only 10 minutes from the gorgeous National Forest for hiking and biking, bird watching, and wildflower spying. Logan is Utah's heart of the arts with more than 253 live professional performances this summer and free concerts every weekday. Catch the Garters Market and tons of festivals and fun. Head to Logan, you won't break the bank on less than a tank. ExploreLogan.com. Three nothing in favor of Lander Valley here in the Union Broadcast booth. A throw in on the near side for the Lady Tigers. They try to set up shot once again. Great clearance away by Sabi, and the touch denied by one of the Lander Valley Lady Tigers. So it'll be a throw in for the Lady Eagles. Hansen tries to poke that way at Nip with the ball at her feet here in the middle third. Tries to send it up to head. Good pressure by Delaney Walker. Finley Morton tries to get it by and set a turnover. Rounds, intercepts. Sabi touches it ahead for a split second. And now intense pressure shown by the Lady Eagles as they try to get the ball back here and possibly get their first goal of the day on the board. 3-0 on the Benedict State scoreboard in favor of Lander Valley. Kicked out of play, and it'll be a throw-in for the Lady Eagles. Throwing down towards the near side. Good clearance by Lander Valley once again. Now two subs in the game for Lander. One for the Lady Eagles. Number six, Grace Allen in for Lyman and Ella Stansberry. And number 15, Addison Weston in for Lander Valley. Throwing on the far side here for the Lady Eagles. Sends it ahead towards the middle portion. And a throw in for Lander Valley. Counterattack off turning here for the Lady Tigers here at the center circle. And a clearance by Mackenzie Lim. Sends that one out of play. A throw in here in the attacking third for Lander Valley. Walker with the ball at her feet, tries to tip it ahead, intended for Alexis Walker. And a throw in here for Finley Morton. Katie Clegg with the ball at her feet, poked away by Lander Valley. As in Weston sends it down below, back up top. Trying to reset here as there's a lot of defenders around the lone striker for the Lady Tigers. Liza Clay kicks it ahead towards Orrin Hansen. And now Alexis Walker trying to get to that ball. And instead, a battle between both of these two sides. And a throw-in ruled here for Lander Valley. They're going to actually reverse it and say a throw-in for the Lady Eagles. 3-0 the score. Great defensive awareness. And now Lander Valley trying to counter here. Ball ahead towards to Stansbury. Back up top to Morton. Addie Weston with the ball at her feet. Sends it ahead for Hammond. Stolen away by Chandler. Clay tries to get the ball past intended for Grace Allen. And they're going to say a throw in for the Lady Tigers. Allen had a good touch as the ball bounced awkwardly off the turf. And now the throw goes deep into the attacking third. And it will be a corner kick opportunity for Lander Valley. 3-0 here on the Benedict A scoreboard in half number one. Yeah. 
Finley Morin to take the corner for the Lady Tigers. Fourth corner of the day for Lander Valley. Lyman so far has cleared all of the chances from the corner spot. Kick straight into the box. Fight for the ball. Kept alive. Sabi sends that one away to Alexis Walker. Chipping ahead towards the Grace Allen. Grace Allen back to Carly Sabi and now down to Alexis Walker here at the center circle. Lander Valley pokes in just for a second. Sabi keeps it alive. Towards into the attacking third. Lyman could possibly have a chance here and cleared away by the Lander Valley defense. Back to the center circle and now a counterattack opportunity for Lander Valley. 3-0 on the scoreboard. Rushing into the box, shot in, and a goal for the Lady Tigers. 4-0 the score. Goal scored at the 13-33 mark. And the fourth goal of the day for the Lady Tigers. Hansen in the center circle to kick it off once again for the Lady Eagles. Kicked out to Clegg. Sabi with a good touch. Allen fires it in for Walker. Intercepted away. And now an opportunity for Lander Valley to strike once again. Good pass through the legs of Delaney Walker. Schultz right there to keep it alive. Clears it out. Schultz with a great defensive touch once again. Hands up top to Delaney Walker. And good challenge by Finley Morton. Walker will send it ahead. Looking for an option. Hansen tries to cut it in as now attackers surrounding the midfield section for the Lady Eagles. Liza Clegg comes back and wins the ball for a split second before the Lady Tigers take it back. 4 0 the score here on the Bendix A scoreboard in favor of Lander Valley. Nelson rushes after that one. And now a goal kick, and Nelson punches that one away. Reset back up top here for Lander Valley, and that ball barely goes out of play, and it'll be a throw in for the Lady Eagles. Throwing on the far side. Hammond trying to poke that one away, and intercepted by Rounds. She's taking it all the way down here. Good footwork up top to Mason Morton. Down low on the attack. Shot on. No good. Katie Clegg with a good touch. And now trying to send it down to start a counterattack for the Lady Eagles. Liza Clegg steals the ball back. Now Lyman has numbers here on this attacking opportunity. And now I'll poke outside, and it'll be a throw-in for the Lady Eagles. Here into the box, Hansen with the ball at her feet and could not get the best touch on it. It'll be a goal kick for Lander Valley. Blue Blackburn and Aurelia Reagan in the game for Lander Valley as Julia Roundy wing the sub-in for the Lady Eagles. More subs in the game for both sides as we're awaiting the goal kick here by the Lady Tigers. Kicked away well towards the midfield section, and a throw in will be forthcoming for the Lady Eagles. 
We're here at the 10 minute mark. So we're going to take a side by side coverage break. Uinta County School District Number 4 has established a tradition of excellence in academics and extracurricular activities. This is made possible by the positive relationship that exists between families and the school district. Our celebration of each student's success is a product of an entire community making student success a top priority. We are blessed with an outstanding staff whose interaction with students makes the world a better place. Uinta County School District Number 4 continuing our tradition of excellence. Go Buffs! The best trips away from home always come when you know you're among friends. This is Coulter Patterson, General Manager at the Come On In Hotel and Suites in Casper, Wyoming. I invite you to stay with us every time you're here. We've got the absolute best staff. Lots of our team members have been working together for years, and we feel like we're a happy family. I guarantee you'll feel that when you come stay with us. We're always glad that you choose the Come On In, and we'll do everything to make your stay comfortable and relaxing. The Come On In Hotel and Suites is the best place to stay because we have the best staff in Casper. Come on in today. Anthony Colasino back live inside the Union Broadcast booth. 4-0 the score in favor of Lander Valley on the Bendix A scoreboard. Just over 32 minutes played here in this half. Popped up ahead. Chance trying to keep it alive for the Lady Tigers. Ball pinballs around. Goes out of play and a throw in for the Lady Eagles. As looks like a sub in the game, it will be Grace Allen in for Eliza Clegg. As now we'll commence play once again in the throne here for the Lady Eagles. Stolen away by Blackburn for a quick second, cleared out. And now a throw in for Lander Valley in the attacking third. Sent down the far side. Blackburn with the ball at her feet. Goes into the box. Clears it back out top. Lander Valley trying to add their fifth goal of the day. Shot blocked by the Lady Eagles. Good defensive awareness. Walker trying to challenge the ball from Reagan. And kicked ahead. Goes through. The grasp of Julia Roundy and out of play. And it'll be a throw in for Lander Valley. 4 0 here on the Benedict A scoreboard in half number one. Battle at the center circle. Lander Valley ends up with the ball. And now a good opportunity once again. Finley Morin crosses it in. Blue back. Blackburn tries to race after it. Could not get to it, and a goal kick upcoming for the Lady Eagles here. Seven minutes left to go here in half number one. Sabi to take the goal kick honors here for the Lady Eagles. Screams it down here towards the near side of the field. And a vantage ruled in favor of Lander Valley. Georgia chance to take the free kick opportunity for the Lady Tigers. Crosses it in forward in, and Nelson with a good heads up save. 4 0 on the scoreboard. Nelson with a sky-high kick. The wind caught that one just a little bit as this bounces in the attacking third. And now a chip ahead for Blackburn. Kicked away by Lim. Chandler trying to run after that one as well. Subs in the game. Number five, Tinley Reisig. And number 30, Hadley Weston. 
As in for the Eagles is Eliza Clegg. In for number six, Grace Allen. Goal kick here once again, screamed out by Sabi. Good first touch by Reisig. And now a counter here. Reagan looking for the ball at her feet. Weston comes in to rescue it for a single second, but overshoots the intended target. And it'll be a throw in on the far side for the Lady Eagles. Sabi bowing for the ball. Addison Weston sends it in for Blackburn. Blackburn on the far box side, trying to set it up. Clegg runs back in, and they're going to say that shot went off of Clegg and out of play, and a throw in for Lander Valley. Up top, Lander Valley trying to set something up here on the far side of the attacking third. Chance keeps it in play. Off to the feet of Blackburn and cleared by the Lady Eagles defense. Atnip sending it towards the far wing. Clegg runs in. The wind caught that one for a single second as now Lyman trying to set up the counter. And Lander Valley right there to squeak that one away. Walker running in to try to keep it in play. Stolen away by Reagan. Cleared out by Chandler. A header by Georgia Chance. Keeps the ball on the Lander possession side. Blackburn against Clegg here. Blackburn has got opportunity and chips one into the back of the net. Two goals on the day for Bear Black for Blue Blackburn, excuse me. 5-0 on the Benedict's A scoreboard in favor of Lander Valley. Goal scored at the 350 mark, left here in half number one. Five goals on seven shots for the Lady Tigers here today. As this has been a display of, display of offense here in this home game for Lander Valley. Clegg trying to set something up here on the far side. Good header by Reagan. And now the attack is on for Lander Valley once again. Blackburn on the far side. Holds up for a single second here, trying to look for some help. Trying to send it down low. Ends up at the feet of Delaney Walker. Refs a play on with Addie Weston with a good challenge there. And the pass will go out of play, and it will be a goal kick for the Lady Eagles. 37 minutes have gone by here in half number one. Only three more to go. Five nil the score in favor of Lander Valley. Two goals by Mason Morin and two by Blackburn, Black Bear. Question, yes, Blackburn has led to the 5 0 lead. Far attacking side here for Lander Valley. And that went off the crossbar, attended cross off the top and out of play. They're going to say last touch by Lyman on the clearance. Thrown here on the near attacking third for the Lady Tigers. Cross in. Good touch by Katie Clegg trying to keep it alive. Addie Weston. Hands off top. Shot on. Diving save. And Blackburn picks up the pieces. And a hat trick for Blue Blackburn, the sophomore, and make it 6-0 in favor of Lander Valley. Not the day the Lady Eagles have been wanting so far. But great defensive awareness throughout this competition up to this point. Goal score just below two minutes left here in half number one. Ball sent ahead and now cleared back out by the Lady Tigers. 
sent down by the Lady Eagles. Now opportunity here at the feet for linemen. Lander Valley trying to clear it ahead. Gets by Alexa, Alexis Walker. Carly Sabe picks it up just in time. Sabe running through. Trying to go up to me. Tripped up from behind. And it'll be a free kick opportunity for the Lady Eagles. Good touch by Sabe. No card given. They're just going to wave advantage here in favor of linemen. So far, no shots on net. Either way, if this shot can get to the goal, it will count as an official shot. Sabi looking at her options. Kicks it ahead. It goes way over through the uprights. And a goal kick to come for the Lady Tigers. Less than a minute left here in half. Number one. 6-0 the score in favor of Lander Valley. Allen tries to save that one. Turns it over in the midfield. Lander Valley trying to get on the counter with Hammond, with Weston and Blackburn. To the far wing for the Lady Tigers. Chance against Clegg. And they're going to say last touch by chance and a throw in here for the Lady Eagles. And that will do it for half number one. Our score at halftime, 6 nothing in favor of Lander Valley. After the break, we'll start the Wyoming Wild Meets halftime show. This is the first bank of Wyoming presentation alignment, Lady Eagle Soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the MyLocalRadio Sports Network. The Valley Learning Center is a community resource that everyone is invited to use. This is Amy Jensen. We help those interested in attending Western Wyoming Community College with registering for classes and completing financial aid applications. We also offer a wide selection of community enrichment classes for children and adults. We even help our local senior citizens with technology challenges. We're a great community resource that everyone is invited to utilize. Feel free to stop by the center Monday through Friday from 10 to 4. Give us a call or visit our website. We're here to help you, the Valley Learning Center in Mountain View. On your way to Flaming Gorge or the Uinta, stop in at the store, formerly known as the Cash Store, in Fort Bridger to top up on gas or grab those last-minute snacks. Visit the store today in Fort Bridger, Wyoming. The store is proud to support the students of the Bridger Valley. I don't know about you, but every time I go to the grocery store, I'm filled with anxiety. Do I have enough money? Meat prices have doubled. How can I ever work on food storage when I can hardly afford food for this week? Wyoming Wild Meats and Lyman is the solution. Weekly specials are posted on Facebook. Beef, pork, chicken for one meal or a mixed order to fill the freezer. You will find quality Gosner cheese and milk products and delicious bread. Because overhead is low, the savings are passed to every customer. Wyoming Wild Meats, offering fresh domestic meats. Welcome back live inside the Union Broadcast booth. Anthony Collison live on the call from Bill Bush Stadium as it is 6 nothing here at half in favor of the Lander Valley Lady Tigers in this 3A West Conference matchup. We'll have more after the break here on the Wyoming Wild Meets Halftime Show. This is a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Lady Eagle Soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the MyLocalRadio Sports Network. Whether you're recovering from an injury, just had surgery, or you're dealing with a chronic condition, Evanston Regional Hospital Physical Therapy will help you every step of the way to reach your goals and get back to doing what you love. In addition to the top-of-the-line facilities, we are the only physical therapy clinic in Southwest Wyoming with a full-size therapy pool and spa for aquatic-based treatment. Call today to schedule an appointment. Evanston Regional Hospital, helping you get your life back. 
the very best place to stay when you visit Evanston, Wyoming is the best Western Dunmar Inn. This amazing hotel is located on 10 beautiful acres and offers clean, comfortable rooms with amazing beds, a fitness center, an outdoor pool open in the summer, and a wonderful on-site restaurant that provides a complimentary breakfast with every stay, all at an affordable rate. Whenever your travels bring you to Evanston, Wyoming, make all your room reservations at the best Western Dunmar Inn, 1601 Harrison Drive. Precision, the quality, condition, or fact of being exact and accurate. Precision is important. Scoring the next point, making the perfect shot, getting the best score. And when you think of your dentist, you want precision to be the first word that comes to mind. That's why patients are so pleased with Dr. McKay Frankham. He provides precision family dentistry at reasonable prices to every patient. Dr. McKay Frankham, call today for an appointment. Call Dr. McKay Frankham at 789-8910. Hiking in the summer, hunting in the fall, and sledding in the winter are a vital part of living in Lyman, Wyoming. Visiting the historic Heritage Park with its splash pad and updated playground are a must for summertime activities. Visit the new Frisbee Golf Course and make new memories with your family and friends. The town of Lyman is a quiet, peaceful place with some of the best residents in the state. Stop in today and make some new friends and memories that will last forever. Here with Lyman track and field runner Morgan Anderson. Morgan hopping straight into the interview. First question, what event do you do in track? Um, I think my main event would be the 100 hurdles. That's that's kind of my jam. (laughs) What do you like most about being on the uh, track and field team? Um, it's It's a fun and relaxed environment and I I'm somewhat successful in track and so it's just fun and exciting. What has been your best time you've ran in the hurdle event? Oh probably like a 16.8 something it's been a while. (laughs) Right on switching to some get to know you questions if there is one vacation spot in the world you like to visit what would that spot be? Hmm, I think somewhere in Greece like on the islands because it's just really nice there and the food is good. (laughs) Right on. Next question, Morgan. Of course, you are a senior. What is the next thing for you after you graduate high school? Um, I'm going to go to college somewhere, and I'll work on getting an undergrad in kinesiology so I can do athletic training. Right on. That's awesome. Last question, Morgan. What is your favorite part of just being a senior in high school? Um... I don't know. It's just like there's lots of exciting things that are happening. Uh, Sometimes it's sad like when sports and things are over, but it's also just really fun and I just love all of it. (laughs) Right on. Thank you for your time, Morgan. Yeah, thank you. Well, I thank Morgan Anderson for taking time out of her schedule to be the town alignment stand out student interview here on the Wyoming Wild Meets Halftime Show. We'll have more after the break. This is a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Lady Eagle Soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the My Local Radio Sports Network. At Alta Construction, we specialize in pre-engineered steel buildings, interior office framing, finishes and flooring, concrete work from foundations to concrete flat work. Alta Construction specializes in industrial and commercial projects. Call today at 307-786-4834. Alta Construction, from conception to completion. Founded in 1938 with hopes and dreams of serving the Bridger Valley, Benedict Trading Company was started. Now 85 years and three generations later, Benedict's Ace is still serving the Bridger Valley. At Benedict's Ace, you'll find all your home improvement needs. If you're wanting to update the color of your walls, they have all the supplies you need. Changing or fixing your faucet or needing to change out a light fixture can be done with ease. Time to add a backyard paradise? Stop in at Benedict's Ace for all your barbecue, patio furniture, lawn maintenance and gardening needs stop in and visit their friendly staff at 1080 north highway 414 in mountain view 
Are you looking for a dental experience that's quicker, more precise, and more comfortable? Look no further. Welcome to Black's Fork Dental, where we bring you the latest in dental technology with our Trios 3D Scanner. Our team can scan images of your teeth and gums in seconds, ensuring precise measurements and accurate results, allowing us to design personalized treatment plans tailored to your unique needs. Whether it's crowns, bridges, or clear correct treatments, we've got you covered. Right now, we're offering a 10% discount on any scan procedure. Schedule your appointment with Black's Fork Dental at Black's Fork ForkDental.com, where advanced technology meets compassionate care. Welcome live back inside the Union Broadcast booth in the Wyoming Wild Wheats Halftime Show. Anthony Colson live on the call from Bill Bush Stadium here at Lander Valley High School. 6 0 the score in favor of the Lander Valley Lady Tigers in the first half highlights presented by a store in Fort Bridger, Wyoming. Mason Morin with two goals on the day and a blue Blackburn with a hat trick along with two assists and all this done only on nine total team shots. As for the Lady Eagles, they've gotten the ball down the field but have struggled to get shots on net. Only one shot from Carly Sabian. That was a free kick that went over the net. That's the first half highlights presented by a store in Fort Bridger, Wyoming. Wyoming here on the Wyoming Wild Meets Halftime Show. Well, more after the break. This is a First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Lady Eagle Soccer here on MyLocalRadio.com and the MyLocalRadio Sports Network. I don't know about you, but every time I go to the grocery store, I'm filled with anxiety. Do I have enough money? Meat prices have doubled. How can I ever work on food storage when I can hardly afford food for this week? Wyoming Wild Meats and Lyman is the solution. Weekly specials are posted on Facebook. Beef, pork, chicken for one meal or a mixed order to fill the freezer. You will find quality Gosner cheese and milk products and delicious bread. Because overhead is low, the savings are passed to every customer. Wyoming Wild Meats, offering fresh domestic meats. Sell or buy your home with a realtor you can trust. At Cowboy State Realty, we are dedicated to helping you with all your real estate needs. At Cowboy State Realty, we are working for you. Call us at 307-200-4332 to schedule an appointment today. Welcome back live inside the Union Broadcast booth and half number two about to get underway as Lander Valley leads 6 nothing here up in Lander. Windy but a cool 65 degrees today. A great atmosphere and great weather for some high school soccer. Lyman will start out with the ball. Sabi gets the first touch, trying to get ahead towards the far side. Stolen away, and now Lander on the counter. Poked around in the middle ground. Kept alive by the Eagles. Sabi on the far side, working it down into the middle third. Trying to chip it ahead, blocked by Maholland. Touch at the feet of Clay. Back to Sabi. Lady Eagles trying to work it ahead and cleared away. Hansen right there in the midfield, and they're going to say accidental handball on Hansen. And it'll be a free kick for the Lady Tigers. And of course, an accidental handball is when the, you know, of course, your hand touches the ball on accident. It wasn't a deliberate move on the pitch. And they're going to say a advantage ruled in favor of the Lady Eagles. Six nothing the score. Kick straight back to Lander Valley. And now Blackburn on the rush. Hands up top. Powerful full shot. Goes over. Morden try to get another goal on the day. And Nelson will get the goal kick going here for the Lady Eagles.
Katie Clay will run back, and she will take the goal kick instead. 6 nothing the score in favor of the Lander Valley Lady Tigers and almost a turnover, another goal, but Nelson right there to pick up the ball. Nelson will clear it away down the field. Looking towards the far side, now into the center circle. Attack tries to go on here, and now Lander Valley on the counter. Down the middle, shot in, diving save by Nelson. Let's see that on the Rizzotto instant replay. Correction, that was a replay from last week's game. Apologies on that. As right now, attack developing, and Lander Valley quietly clears it away. Clake tries a hand off to Sabi. Walker right there trying to help out. Stolen away and now chipped ahead. And now Miss Q and Blackburn trying to get to the ball. She has an opening shot in and a goal for Blue Blackburn, her fourth of the day. 7-0 in favor of Lander Valley on the Benedict's A scoreboard. Goal scored at the 36 minute, 34 second mark. Almost four minutes played and now Blackburn will take a spot on the bench. A well-deserved day, four goals for the sophomore. Has led the way for Lander Valley. Lander Valley working around at the center circle. Trying to feed it through, looking for an option. Chipped down the middle and kicked out of play. A good clearance, and it will be a throw-in for Lander Valley. Looking down the middle here, once again chipped out of play. A throw-in in the attacking for third for the Lady Tigers. About 20 feet out from the box. Hands off to Rysig, down the middle to Morton, a shot on, and a save by Addie Nelson. Nelson will kick this one away. Ball takes an awkward bounce, and now Clegg off the race, trying to pick it up, but rounds right there to clear it away, relieving the pressure off of Donahue. Kicked ahead towards the midfield. And now Lander Valley trying to get something rolling once again. Hansen with a great defensive touch. Picks it up. Ball pinballing around back to the middle third. Reisig with the touch to Weston. Walker trying to put some pressure on. Hansen will kick it ahead. And now Lyman off to the races, trying to get to the ball. Is Walker and Allen. Cleared away by Lander Valley. 6 nothing the score. And that ball moves straight through to the feet of Weston. And now Lander Valley trying to get on the counter attack. They have an opening. Can they put a shot on? And it goes into the back of the net. Another goal for the Lady Tigers. Eight nil the score. And a great pass and a great through ball. And it's eight nothing in favor of Lander Valley. Morn with her third goal of the day. Yeah. 
Eagles to kick it away. Once again, Sadie receives it at the center circle. Chips ahead, and that will go out of play. 8 nothing to score in favor of the Lady, Lady Tigers on the Ben XA scoreboard here. 33-57 left to go in half number two. Sadie with the ball at her feet. Sending ahead, looking for Clegg. And that will go, stays in play on the near side. And they're going to rule a throw in for the Lady Eagles. A quick throw in here. Ball batters around in the box. And Savy tried to block that pass, and it goes out of play, and it'll be a throw in for Lander Valley on the near side. Hanson try to get a good touch on that. There'll be a throw in here. Stansbury throws it in. Hands off to Addison Weston. Weston looking ahead. And now a possible goal scenario once again. And cleared away by Katie Clegg. Throwing here on the near side for Lander Valley. Stansbury to Weston. Back out top to Carly Sabe. Working the ball around at the center circle. Approaches the mid-third of the far side. Reverses her dribble just for a second. Tries to cross it in. Finds Eliza Clegg. Clegg with a shot on and a diving slave by Donahue. Donahue's first save of the day. Eight nothing to score in favor of Lander Valley. Still on the Benedict's A scoreboard. Lyman is getting more chances here in half number two, and that is what the Eagles want. But they're just not finding the back of the net j just yet. Good cross into the box. Stansbury tries to chip it over, but can did not get the best touch on the ball. And it will be a goal kick for the Lady Eagles. Kicked away here. Intercepted well by Lander Valley. And they will try to put another shot on net. And that will soar behind the goal post, and it will be another free kick opportunity for the Lady Eagles. Katie Clegg to get that one away to Carly Sabe. Eliza Clegg with a touch, has to run back towards the ball. Good challenge here by Stansbury. Hands off to Addison Weston. Touched by the defensive line for Lander Valley. Now the counterattack opportunity. Weston tries to shoot one on. That shot goes wide of the net and out of play. 8-0 the score in favor of the Lady Tigers. Clay will reset the ball as the wind was blowing it just a little bit on the field of the turf, and it looks like the rest are going to try to move it just a little bit further back. Stansbury gets a touch. Clegg clears it out of the way, trying to hand it off to Walker. And it said the Lander defense finds that ball. And now a battle in the midfield. Going down the far side. Walker tackled hard. And they're going to weigh an advantage in favor of Lyman. Alexis Walker with the good take on the challenge. And now Sabi will reset the ball here for the Lady Eagles as they will take a free kick opportunity right outside the box. A dangerous situation here for Lander as Lyman trying to get their first goal on the day. Stanberry headers it ahead. Out to midfield. Good clearance by Katie Clegg. 
Allen tries to keep it ahead. And now a throw in for the Lady Tigers. Subs in for both sides. Thrown into the mid third here. Both sides challenging for it. Sansbury wins that challenge. And now Lander Valley trying to work something in. Backdoor cut looking for Reisig. Reisig crosses it in. Good touch by the lineman defense, clearing it just for a second. Eliza Clegg speeds back to clear the ball. Reagan with the touch for Lander Valley. Sends it down the middle. Sansbury tries to hand it off. Reagan once again pass over the head of one of her teammates. Received by Addie Nelson, the keeper for the Lady Eagles. 8-0 to score here in half. Number two in favor of Lander Valley. They'll improve to 2-1 and 2-0 in conference. Lyman will drop to 2-3 and 1-1 and one and one on the season. And remember, for 3A soccer, there is no regionals for the East and West divisions. So the top four from both sides make it in to state automatically. And a lot of season left to go for both of these sides. So right now, Lady Eagles, just try to improve your game as you have a lot of season left in front of you. And a lot of time to make a good make a good challenge for one of those spots at state. Counterattack opportunity here for the Lady Eagles. Back up top towards midfield. Walker setting up Sabi. Sabi with the through ball trying to get it down low to Hanson. Donahue runs after that one. And we'll clear it away. 8-0 to score here in half number two. Sent back down by Chandler looking for Eliza Clegg. Clegg with a good through ball down to Walker. And Sabi try to get the final touch. No good on that touch. And now in the midfield for Lander Valley. Allen versus Stansberry. Kyler Chandler tries to get it ahead. And a lot of pushing and shoving. Some good soccer action here. A lot of good challenges between both of these sides so far. Walker and Chance going after it on the far side. One by Chance. And they're going to wave it. Advantage in favor of Lyman. They're going to wave it a throw in. As another stoppage in play. 25 40 left to go here in half number two. We'll take a quick side by side break. Explore Logan, Utah. We've got so much awesomeness, I don't know where to begin. Your hotel is only 10 minutes from the gorgeous National Forest for hiking and biking, bird watching, and wildflower spying. Logan is Utah's heart of the arts with more than 253 live professional performances this summer and free concerts every weekday. Catch the Gardner's Market and tons of festivals and fun. Head to Logan. You won't break the bank on less than a tank. ExploreLogan.com. Farming requires working with the right equipment. At Covalos, you will find the right size tractor, tractor accessories, cattle chutes, and calf corrals for all your farming needs. Covalos has all your auto needs as well. From fluids to belts to protection for your hands, they've got you covered. Covalos also offers a service center for your truck and tractors in one convenient location. Covalos is your one-stop farm and auto shop. Stop in and see them today at 80 Reese Road in Lyman. Covalos, your one-stop farm and auto shop. Well, if you saw that live during our side-by-side -side break, Carly Sabe sends a shot about 50 feet out from the box and nails it in the back of the net. First goal of the day for the Lady Eagles, scored by Carly Sabe. What a shot. 
by the junior. And now 8-1 the score. And Lyman trying to get that first goal of the day, and they do. And you can feel the relief by the bench that they got a goal on the board You know, in this conference matchup. Lander Valley trying to work it down here into the attacking third. Good clearance. And now back and forth action between both of these sides. Lander Valley looking for a attacking opportunity. Trying to chip it in the box. Back up top. Shot on. Saved by Nelson. It goes off the top of the bar. Great save by the senior keeper. Her third save of the day. Now the ball is sent down and cleared out of the way. Throw in for Leander Valley. Sent down well into the attacking third. 8-1 the score in favor of Lander Valley on the Benedict Say scoreboard. Carly Sabe with the goal for the Lady Eagles. That shot powerful, but goes off the side of the post. Now Lander Valley on the attack once again, cleared out of the way. Throw in here for the Lady Tigers. Ass and Weston against Clegg. As Weston's now just going to dribble it around here, trying to reset for her defense to push it on through. Finds Reagan. Cleared out of the way. And now back on through, looking for Rysig. Liza Clegg right there to clear it away. Good defense pressure by Weston. Keeps it in the lander attacking end. Trying to send a through ball, th through ball and blocked away by the Lady Eagles. Sabi with the ball at her feet. Gets tracked on the far side. Trying to send it on through, and that will be chipped out of play by the Lady Tiger defense and a throw in for the Lady Eagles upcoming. 8-1 the score here at the 23-04 mark to play here in half number two. Next matchup for Lyman will be at home tomorrow versus Cody and then Saturday against Powell. We'll have Saturday's matchup live here on MyLocalRadio.com and the My Local Radio Bridger Valley YouTube channel. Start times for that game on Saturday, 10 a.m. for the girls, noon kickoff approximately for the boys. Lander Valley trying to set up on the counter. Worked ahead by Reisig. Sansbury tries a shot that is blocked, but goes deeper into the zone. Mini clearance and now chipped ahead into the Lander Valley midfield. Sliding shot on, took but accuracy wide to the left. As another goal kick upcoming for the Lady Eagles, down eight to one on the Benedict A scoreboard. Good interception on that. A good reaction by the Lady Eagle defense. Chipping that one away. And it'll be a throw in for linemen. Thrown into the center circle area. Hands and trying to raise after that one. Stolen away by Lander Valley once again. Cleared out of the way towards the near side. Now Clegg, correction, Hansing trying to get on top of that one. That ball passed back to Donahue, and she sends it back towards the middle of the field. 
Weston at the center circle. Working it around. Finding Reisig here on the near attacking wing. And cleared by the Lady Eagles. Good defensive clearance as now the ball's worked ahead through for Eliza Clegg. Trying to work it down to Hansen. Sabi trying to poke it away. Rounds right there, just boxing out Sabi for the moment momentarily. And Sabi causes a turnover as now a throw in for the Lady Eagles. 20 minutes, let's go here in half number two. Subs in for the Lady Eagles. Karina Santiago in for Julia Roundy. Sabi with a good touch. Wesson there to pick up the scraps. Back to Stansbury. Counterattack incoming now. Chance with the through ball looking for one of her teammates. Working it around. Far attacking third here. Poked away by the Lady Eagles. And a throw in for Lander Valley incoming. 8-1 the score in favor of the Lady Tigers on the Benedict's A scoreboard. Cross into the box area and no good. It's now a chase for the ball. And a throw in for Lander Valley. Into the near side, looking for Weston. Back up top for Reisig. Stolen away here on the near side. Reagan gets the ball after Clegg was tripped up in the middle of the action. Weston with some good touches here in the midfield area. Up ahead for Reisig, back to Addy Weston. Clegg tries to slide in from behind. Extraction Hansen tries to slide in from behind. And a throw in for Lander Valley upcoming. Brinley Hammond to take the throw in. Touched by Stansberry. Lim pokes that one away. Rounds keeps it in play for Lander Valley squeaks by the midfield here. Clegg clears it for Owen Hansen. Back up top for West and now counterattack opportunity for the Lady Tigers. A lot of counterattacks so far today as far as Lander Valley squad, but we've seen it throughout the season so far against both Bridger Valley teams. Lander Valley, a really aggressive team when it comes down to the uh, counterattack side of the game. And now throwing on the far side for the Lady Tigers. And looks like they're going to reverse call. It'll be a throw-in for the Lady Eagles instead. Santiago with the throw-in. They're going to say over the back foul and advantage waived for the Lady Tigers. Here at the 17-minute mark left in half number two, we'll go for a quick side-by-side -side break. Great signage is an important component to any successful business. It lets your customers know they have arrived at your doors, and it's a constant advertisement of who you are. When you install LED signage, you're taking it one step further. The ability to create color messages that move is an attention grabber. Plus, you can change the message whenever you would like. Make your business stand out with an LED sign from Rocky Mountain Sign, providing service, installation, and maintenance on all signage. Rocky Mountain Sign, licensed in Wyoming and Utah. Call today for a quote, 307-789. 5202. Ready has provided safety and excellence in the industrial construction and support services since 1982. We have the crews and equipment for hydro excavation, dirt and equipment hauling, as well as produced and potable water hauling. 
We also offer septic tank cleaning services, portable toilets, and roll-off dumpster rentals for facility shutdowns on location or for your next outdoor event. Call us today to discuss how we can help with your next project. Interested in joining our team? Visit ReadyUSA.com. We are ready. Back live inside the Union broadcast booth. Anthony Colasino live on the call for his 3A West matchup here at Lander Valley High School. 8-1 the score in favor of the Lady Tigers here in half number two. Lyman on the attack here. Sabi with the ball at her feet. Tries to chip it ahead for Clegg. She ends up with the ball. Tries to chip it in. And a good save by Donahue. Lyman with a lot more attacking opportunities here in half number two. And Coach Anson has to be pleased with the second half attempts uh, for the ball for the Lady Eagles. Lander Valley on the counter. Stansbury trying to race after that one. Chips a shot in off the top of the crossbar. Ball still in play. And they're going to say stoppage in play. And it looks like the ball may have gone off the top of the soccer post and it may have hit the football field goal post in progress of the shot. So technically the field goal post for the, for the football field is technically out of play. So they say we're going to wave that shot. And now it'll be a throw in for the Lady Tigers. Philomena Olsen, Olsen and Blue Blackburn back in the game for Lander Valley. Throwing opportunity here for Lander Valley on the opposite side of the field. Raising the box, high shot, and into the back of the net. What a screamer from outside the box. 9-1 in favor of Lander Valley on the Bendix A scoreboard. What a shot on that play. Hadley Weston will be credited with that goal. As now it's 9-1 in favor of the Lady Tigers. Here at the 13-30 mark of half number two. 26 minutes and 30 seconds played here in the second half. Sabi pressured by the Lander defense. Kicks the ball off the defender and out of play. And it'll be a throw in for the Lady Eagles. Back and forth action here in the midfield. Clegg sends that way down. That goes out of play. Carried by the wind and it will be a goal kick here for Lander Valley. Donahue signaling and will send this one away towards the near middle third. Clegg pokes it loose just for a second. And now throwing here for the Lady Eagles. Looking for Sabi and Seb poked down the middle. Sabi regroups the ball here. Stolen away by Lander Valley. Clegg pokes it loose. Delaney Walker sends it ahead. Lyman still in a good attacking spot here, and Lander has to kick it out, and Eliza Clegg will throw it in here on the near touchline. line. 
Rounds backs off and allows Donahue to come in and corral that one. 9-1 the score in favor of Lander Valley. Lyman tries to clear it towards the center circle, intercepted by Chance and the Lady Tigers. Poked out of play by Kylie Schultz. And it'll be a throw in for Lyman. They're going to say last touch by Lander. Into the midfield area, the ball goes. 9 1 the score. Ball sent back into the midfield area. Last touch by the Lady Eagles. They're going to say a bandage waved for linemen. 10.55, let's go here in half. Number two before the final score. Sabi with a good back touch on the ball. Good headers all around by both sides. Lyman trying to counter back on defense here at the midfield area. Poked out of play by Schultz, and it'll be a throw in for the Lady Tigers on the far side of the field. Good crowd on hand for this matchup. Nevea Major in the game for the Lady Eagles. Nine one the score in this matchup. Throwing and Lander trying to take away the ball, and they do once again. Lander Valley trying to start up another attack. And Blackburn offsides on that one, just trended a little bit offsides. And it will be a free kick for the Lady Eagles. Liza Clay to free kick this one down the field. Stolen away by Lander Valley once again. Good touch along the way. Poked ahead. Now Hanson trying to run after it. Donahue will walk out of the box to save that one. Ball goes out of play and a throw in for the Lady Eagles. Advantage flag waved and it'll be a throw in for Lander Valley. Good first touch by the Lady Tigers on this possession. Down the middle they go. Good through ball towards the right side. Morden with the ball at her feet. Trying to work it around as best as she could. Now Lander trying to go on the far attacking third here to set up an opportunity. Tries to cross it in. Too low on that, and it will go out of play. And it will be a goal kick ahead for the Lady Eagles. Nelson to send this one way. Send this one away in a moment. And a friendly reminder after the girls' game, we'll have the boys' game as well. Poke loose by Mulholland. Now Lander Valley trying to set up another opportunity here. Wesson with the ball at her feet. Shot blocked. Morin with a attempted shot on net. Looking down low for Mulholland. Poked away. And now everyone. Still fighting over it here. Lander Valley trying to continue the ball. And Lyman trying to clear it out of the way. Good touch by the Lyman defense here. 
Try to keep this a 9-1 game. Bourne with the ball at her feet. Sends it back towards the far side. Lady Tigers trying to get something going once again here. A lot of goals on the day for them so far. That chance comes up to nothing as it's semi-cleared by the Lady Eagles defense. Battle on the far attacking third around the 30-yard line for this ball. Sabi has a run back in for extra defensive coverage for the Lady Eagles as that ball is now cleared away. Rounds against Hansen. Lander trying to send it ahead. Into the midfield attacking area. Good pick away by Lim. And that ball goes out of play. Last touch by Lander Valley. Clegg to throw it in for the Lady Eagles. Delaney Walker in the game for Grace Allen. That ball headed out of play, and it'll be another throwing opportunity for the Lady Eagles. Clegg with a strong throw in. Donahue picks that one up. Five minutes left to go here in half number two. Donahue sends that one away. Poked clear here is now a counterattack by the Lady Tigers. Good touch by Clegg. Just trying to find a fellow Lady Eagle on the pass and could not. Lander Valley in their end, and that's a goal in the back of the net. Another one for Lander Valley. Make it 10-1 in favor of the Lady Tigers on the Benedict's A scoreboard. As a dominating day for this side in their home opener on the season. Goal scored. With 4.47, let's go here in half number two. Subs for the Lady Tigers. As I'll await the kickoff once again. Hansen sends it off. Sabi. Chips it down into the mid-third. Good back and forth action between both of these sides. Rysik tries to send it ahead. Mahalan makes contact with Clegg. They're going to say throw in here. Actually, they're going to say free kick in favor of the Lady Eagles. Down the field, Sabi trying to get a touch on it and definitely going to wave an advantage flag there. Sabi tripped up by rounds. And now a free kick opportunity for the junior. Sabi sends it all the way down, hops off the turf and into the hands of Donahue. 10 won the score in favor of Lander Valley on the Ben XA scoreboard. At half, it was 6 nothing in favor of Lander Valley and outscoring Lyman here in the second half, 4-1. to one. Clegg with the ball at her feet. Poked away. And a throw in now, Mason Morton hands it off for the Lady Eagles. Brenlin Palmer in for the Lyman Lady Eagles along with a fellow few other Lady Eagles. Liza Clegg to throw it down towards the near side here. Olsen falls on top of that one. Q 
Katie Clegg trying to rip the ball away here, but Lander still strong with the ball at their feet. Georgia Chance tries to sink one into the box, a pass ahead, chipped away. And a stoppage in play. Looks like offsides against the Lady Tigers. So it'll be a free kick here for the Lady Eagles. Send ahead, intercepted by Lander Valley. Mulholland trying to race after it. Good clearance, but back to the midfield attacking portion for the Lady Tigers. Shot wide left of the box. And a goal kick will be on the way for the Lady Eagles. Katie Clegg to kick it away. Ball sent straight to Mulholland, tipped away by Lim. Katie Clegg racing through here. Trying to set Owen Hansen now. Intercepted by Lander. Shot on net. Saved by Addie Nelson. 10-1 the score in favor of the Lady Tigers on the Benedict State scoreboard. Ball brought back into the attacking third for Lander Valley. Shot in the back of the net for Mulholland. 11 to 1 the score in favor of Lander Valley and a goals upon goals type of day for the Lady Tigers. As that one scored with just less than a minute to go, 57 seconds left in half number two. Well, I'm in to reset the offense. Hansen sends it down. Alexis Walker fighting for the ball on that challenge. Poked out of play by Lander Valley. Advantage waved in favor of the Lady Tigers, and they'll have a throw in here as time continues to go down here. 27 seconds left to go here in half number two. Throwing at the far center circle for the Lady Tigers. Lander Valley trying to get more goals on the board here, and they might do so. Another attacking opportunity. Shot on. Diving save by Nelson. And that is the final horn art score at the end. 11 to 1 in favor of the Lander Valley Lady Tigers. We'll have the Scott's Abiding Glass post game show after the break. This is the first bank of Wyoming presentation alignment Lady Eagle Soccer on mylocalradio.com and the My Local Radio Sports Network. Going on a long trip is never any fun, especially when you are having to wait for your car to be serviced. Shop local and visit Scott's Auto Body and Glass in Lyman. Scott's Auto Body and Glass has the equipment to calibrate ADOS, known as Lane Departure Assist, so you know you are in good hands when you're needing your windshield replaced or your system calibrated. Tire alignments are done with the latest technology to save you time. Getting that specialized paint color or just touching up that rough spot is done with speed and precision at Scott's Auto Body and Glass. Visit Scott's Auto Body and Glass today to schedule your appointment at 125 Reese Road in Lyman. Fast, fresh, delicious. Three words that describe your experience every time you enjoy a delicious meal with Jimmy John's. Utilizing the freshest ingredients, home-baked bread, and professional sandwich building skills, the team at Jimmy John's always delivers a mouth-watering sandwich to satisfy any hunger. Jimmy John's. Freaky fast, freaky fresh. Visit any of our locations today in Evanston, Rock Springs, Sheridan, and Gillette. Precision, the quality, condition, or fact of being exact and accurate. 
Precision is important. Scoring the next point, making the perfect shot, getting the best score. And when you think of your dentist, you want precision to be the first word that comes to mind. That's why patients are so pleased with Dr. McKay Frankham. He provides precision family dentistry at reasonable prices to every patient. Dr. McKay Frankham, call today for an appointment. Call Dr. McKay Frankham at 789-8910. When shopping for a new home or property, it's important that your realtor works to make the whole process simple. Serving customers for almost 20 years, the professional agents at Bridger Valley Realty will provide you with the information and resources you need to keep it simple without missing a step. Shopping for the perfect home or property can be a lot of fun. Trust the Valley's proven realtors. Stop by and see us today. The town of Mountain View is located in the historic Bridger Valley and serves as the gateway to the high Uintas. With a panoramic view of the rugged Uinta peaks, you feel like you're in paradise. Our town park and scenic river walk offer a safe place for rest and relaxation. Looking for a great place to live? Our quality of life is great and our people are very friendly. Come join our tranquil way of life. The town of Mountain View, a gateway to the high Uintas. Welcome back live inside the Scott's Audubon and Glass post-game show. Anthony Carlson are live on the call inside the Union Broadcast booth here at Bill Bush Stadium at Lander Valley High School. 11-1 to the final in favor of the Lander Valley Lady Tigers. As goal scored by Lander Valley, a few notable names. Mason Morin with a hat trick. Blue Blackburn with Four goals on the day, along with two assists, as four linemen alone goal is scored by Carly Sabe. The Dr. May Frank, Dr. McKay Frankham position play of the game here on Scott's Autobiding Glass post game show. That honor belongs to Carly Sabe with the lone goal of the day. And of course, the Bridger Valley Realty player of the game honors goes to Sabe as well. And now the town of Mountain View, Wyoming, gateway to the High Uintas calendar update here on the Scott's Autobahn and Glass postgame show. We have the matchup right now warming up on the field between the Lander Valley Tigers and the Lyman Eagles on the boys' side. I'll see you after the break for the Big Country Properties pregame show. This is the First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Lady Eagle Soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the My Local Radio Sports Network. Buying or selling is a simple process if you're working with the right real estate agent. This is Bobby Dalzell, broker with Big Country Properties. We have agents serving both Lincoln and Uinta counties that can assist you with all of your real estate needs. We are the top listing and selling brokerage in the Bridger Valley and strive to be honest, hardworking, and thorough. Whether buying or selling, we make it happen. Call us today at Big Country Properties, 307-782-3556. When participating in sports, there's always a lot to talk about performing at the top of your game. I'd like to expand on that and ask, how about performing at the top of your game in every part of your life? This is Dr. Todd Hoover with Hoover Chiropractic. I offer solutions to help improve all aspects of your game called life. Pain management, migraines, allergies, emotional release, nutritional supplements based on blood tests, and improved athletic performance. To help you perform at the top of your game every day, call today to schedule an appointment in Evanston or in Kemmer, Hoover Chiropractic, 307 789 9 Auto, home, life, renters, and business all have one thing in common. They all need insurance. Choosing the right agent is always hard. Choose the agent that takes a professional and individual approach to each client. At Farmers Insurance in Lyman, you will find that agent. Farrell is a down-to-earth person who loves hunting, fishing, and above all, his family. Come in and visit him and his friendly staff for a quote today at 37 Mountain Meadow Street, Suite B in Lyman. Welcome back live inside the Union Broadcast booth. Anthony Carlson live here at Bill Bush Stadium in Lander, Wyoming at Lander Valley High School. And the Farmers Insurance scene set here on the Big Country Properties pregame show. 
The Lyman Eagles 0-4 in the season last time out was a 4-0 loss to the Mountain View Buffaloes as Lander Valley 1-1 on the season, a loss to Jackson Hole, but then a 3-2 win. And that was their last game played a couple weeks back against the Mountain View Buffaloes, a 3-2 win for them. That's Farmers Insurance Scenes that here on the Big Country Properties pre-game show. We'll have more after the break. This is the First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Eagle Soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the My Local Radio Sports Network. <laughs> We're off to the rodeo. My Local Rodeo is proud to bring you live streaming coverage of high school rodeo from Utah and Wyoming, as well as the Intermountain Icebreaker of the National High School Rodeo Association's Western Legacy Series in 2023 and 2024. If you're interested in becoming a broadcast sponsor and advertising your business to the most loyal group of viewers in the country, you won't find a better opportunity. Call us today to claim your spot, 307-789-8116. That's 307 307- 7789-8116. We're off to the rodeo. Serving the Bridger Valley since 1987, Bridger Valley Motors are your engine repair experts. Along with engine repair, Bridger Valley Motors offers towing services, tire alignments, brake repairs, and more. Visit Bridger Valley Motor at 217 North Main Street in Lyman. At the Evanston Walmart, you'll find all the tools students need to succeed. Our team is committed to providing quality products and an excellent shopping experience. Stop in today. 125 North 2nd Street, Evanston. Walmart. Save money. Live better. Welcome back live inside the Union Broadcast booth here on the Big Country Properties pregame show. Anthony Carlson alive from Lander Valley High School, and we are not able to get interview with one of the head coaches for Lander Valley. So we'll go to another break here on the Big Country Properties pregame show. This is the First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Eagle Soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the My Local Radio Sports Network. Helping young people grow into productive adults is like putting a puzzle together. Each aspect of life is equal to one puzzle piece. Restful sleep, a healthy breakfast, a positive experience at home before school sets the tone for the whole day. Positive student interaction with teachers, district staff, coaches, and peers all add to the puzzle. At Uinta County School District Number 6, we work hard to make each puzzle piece meaningful and powerful for every student. By working together, we can help every student grow into a masterpiece. It's a great day to be an Eagle. Great signage is an important component to any successful business. It lets your customers know they have arrived at your doors and it's a constant advertisement of who you are. When you install LED signage, you're taking it one step further. The ability to create color messages that move is an attention grabber. Plus, you can change the message whenever you would like. Make your business stand out with an LED sign from Rocky Mountain Sign, providing service, installation, and maintenance on all signage. Rocky Mountain Sign, licensed in Wyoming and Utah. Call today for a quote, 307 789 5202. Here with Cody Erdley, head coach of the Lyman soccer team, and Cody hopping straight into the interview. Tomorrow it is a date with Lander Valley. What are you expecting out of the Tigers in this crucial road matchup? Well, I'm excited to play again with my team. Uh, I'm excited that we finally have some good weather in the forecast. And we've been working really hard this week and really coming together as a team, moving the ball and getting that ball on the goal. So I'm super excited about it. You speak of moving the ball around. What other things have you worked in practice this week that you could implement through the matchups of this week? Well, we have a lot of athleticism. The kids are kind of young, kind of raw. So we've just been polishing passes. We've been polishing, moving the ball down the field. And, you know, this, this last week of work has paid off, and we're looking like a whole different team than we were last week. And speaking of last week, what were some of the takeaways from the game versus Mountain View? Well, the kids played hard. Uh, a couple mistakes a half will put us behind where we were with that score, but... You know, just like I told the kids, I don't expect them to have to come out and be state champions immediately. I just expect them to do a little better every time, and I feel like we did that. So, or we've been doing that. 
looking later at this week, you have Cody and Powell at home. What are the game plan against both of those teams, some of the top teams in the 3A West? Well, I'm excited to play against them. It's really going to show us where we need to do our work. And, you know, we'll take our victories where we can. You know, we'll move the ball and shoot the ball and let the score be what it will. That's all the questions I have, Coach. Thank you so much for your time, and good luck this week. Hey, thanks a lot. Uh, You too. We'd like to thank head coach Cody Erdley of the Lyman Eagles for joining us here on the Jake Major with the Bulk Agency of Wyoming pregame coaches show here on the Big Country Properties pregame show off more after the break. This is a first bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Eagle soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the MyLocalRadio Sports Network. Hey there, I'm Jake Major, your local Medicare and insurance benefits advisor for the Bullock Agency of Wyoming. With over 25 years of experience protecting families in rural America, we understand the importance of having affordable insurance coverage. Whether you're searching for extra coverage or looking to understand and switch your Medicare options, I can help you find a range of top-rated insurance companies and tailor-made packages based on your needs. Call me, Jake Major, today at 307-209-4685, and let's discuss your insurance options. We're the Bullock Agency of Wyoming, when benefits matter. Quality is the one thing that you can always count on when you do business with Ellingford Brothers in Evanston. You always get high-quality products and friendly, knowledgeable service at Ellingford's. Stop in today, 199 County Road, Evanston. Welcome back live inside the Union Broadcast booth and the Ellingford Brothers keys to the game. Anthony Carlson live from Bill Bush Stadium here at Lander Valley High School. And we'll start the keys for Lander Valley. Key number one is going to be getting out of the gate early. You might think, well, of course, Anthony, you want to you know, be the one to be able to score the first goal. But it is really true in soccer that if you can get on the right foot early on, sometimes it can spell 80 90% success rate for a win for your side. And key number two for Lander is going to be easing up on the mistakes they made versus the Buffaloes in their last game as they almost gave up a 2 0 lead at half. And they allow them, when the opponent has a m- 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 momentum, they allow it to play in the favor of the other team. And key number three is helping keeper Aiden Hayford out in net as for Lyman key number one is going to be getting shots and getting into the offensive side of the field key number two for the Eagles is going to be working it around towards the wings they did that well versus the Buffaloes let's see if they can do that today and key number three for the Eagles is going to be helping Nate Brady he had 14 saves yesterday but uh, last week but faced over 30 shots against Mountain View that's the Ellingford brothers keys to the game here on the big country properties pre-game show we'll have more after the break this is the first bank of wyoming presentation of lyman eagle soccer on mylocalradio.com and the my local radio sports network hey there i'm jake major your local medicare and insurance benefits advisor for the bullock agency of wyoming With over 25 years of experience protecting families in rural America, we understand the importance of having affordable insurance coverage. Whether you're searching for extra coverage or looking to understand and switch your Medicare options, I can help you find a range of top-rated insurance companies and tailor-made packages based on your needs. Call me, Jake Major, today at 307-209-4685, and let's discuss your insurance options. We're the Bullock Agency of Wyoming, when benefits matter. Quality is the one thing that you can always count on when you do business with Ellingford Brothers in Evanston. You always get high quality products and friendly, knowledgeable service at Ellingford's. Stop in today, 199 County Road, Evanston. Well, 
Welcome back live inside the Union Broadcast booth as soon starters to be announced for this 3A West matchup. Lyman 0-4, 0-1 in conference as Lander Valley 1-1 and 1-0 on the year in conference play. Lyman, of course, looking for their first conference win of the season. Lander Valley would like to go 2-0 on the season in conference play if they can today. And if you're just joining us, the girls lost 11-1 to to the Lander Valley Lady Tigers earlier on as the girls dropped a 2-3 and three and 1-1 one and one on the season. They will face Cody tomorrow, same as the boys as well. And then on Saturday, they will, Lyman will face Powell, and we'll have that game live here on MyLocalRadio.com and the My Local Radio Bridge Valley YouTube channel. Scheduled kickoff for the girls, 10 a.m. Scheduled kickoff for the boys, noon. As both sides walk to the midfield Tiger logo. As we will get started here soon. In goal, Nate Nielsen. Number three, Glenn Boom Blumel. Number four, Davon Share. Number twelve, Aiden Johnson. Number fourteen, Brennan Erickson. Number sixteen for the Eagles. Cash blast number seventeen, Hank Babcock. Number twenty on there. Number twenty, Joey Blumel. And number 23, Nate Brady. Number 24, Wyatt Nebaker. As for the Tigers, Aiden, Aiden Hayford. Number one, Colton Lyard. No, number three, Owen Sweeney. Number four, Landon Jones. Number five, Jacob Rudd. Number 10, Bear Blackburn. Number 12, Parker Burden. Number 13, Sawyer Nachazel. Number 15, Craig Hansen. Number 17, Finn Richards. Number 27, Sequel Lozier. Both sides are going to shake hands here as, as we'll soon be ready to go. In this 3A West matchup, both sides will go to their respective sides here as we warm up as they will all talk for one last second before getting ready for this matchup as we'll exit out of the Big Country Properties pregame show to our scoreboard sponsored by Benedict's Market. Lyman already broke the huddle. Lander Valley going to overtalk some last-minute adjustments here, and then we'll be set and ready to go for this 3A West Soccer Showdown. Lander to start out with the ball. Refs awaiting everyone ready to go here at Bill Bush Stadium. And we are underway, touch towards the back line as they bring it forward. Richards looking for an option to get to. Back off to the defensive line, de defensive line for Lazier. On the far side, interrupted by Nebaker for the Eagles. Lander trying to build good here on the counterattack early on. Brady around the ball, and now Odin Air racing down, and Nate Nielsen comes in but makes contact with Air. Looks like Nate Nielsen is okay, and he will send this one away. A good header towards the back end here for Lander Valley as they push that one ahead. And it'll be a throw-in for the Eagles. Ben Blumel to throw it in. 
Good header back for Lander Valley as they try to set up this attack. Kicked ahead. Richards trying to get under that ball and stolen away by Brady in the speed by Nate Brady as that ball goes out of play. And it'll be a throw in for the Eagles. Throwing on the far attacking third. Backline defense here for Lander and stop foul and a stoppage in play. And it will be a corner kick for linemen, their first one of the day. Good start early on here for the Eagles. Corner kick into the box. Good clearance. And now go out of play for a throw in. Lyman trying to advance the ball. Swept out of play towards the back line here for, uh, for air. Tries to head for Babcock. Chipped ahead. It will stay in play. Brady trying to force the issue here. Johnson tripped up. And now Lander Valley at the center circle trying to plan the counterattack here for Laird. Laird all by himself. One man to beat and saved. Laird keeps a hold on it. And Nielsen with a great save and caught the ball, but also... Kind of just wrapped, layered around by his feet. Joy Blumo trying to get on the header. Could save as that looked like a for sure goal opportunity. Ben Blumo throws it in. Cher right there and tipped around. And Lander will turn it over. Another throw in for the Eagles. Cher try to get a header. And it looks like another defensive clearance by Lander Valley. Ben Blumo again. Good header by Laird. Another good touch by the attacker. And that ball will go out of play. Now throw in for the Eagles as launched further down the field for Davon Share. Good touch and Laird. Now on their side for Lander. And both sides right now just header after header. Back out to the midfield. Gets by Babcock. Air going to have to run after this one to reset the offense here at four linemen. Now go out of play and a throw in for Lander Valley. Four minutes and 30 seconds have passed by here in half number two. Laird tries to put a shot on. Blocked away. Actually, they're going to say that shot did go wide. Good defense by the Eagles. Nate Brady will take the free kick. Sent ahead. Nebuchadnezzar with a good first touch on the ball in the mid-third. Leander Valley back up top to regroup. Tries to send it down. Pinball is a car... A off a couple of players now to play. And it'll be a throw in here on the far side for the Eagles. Lander Valley on the counter. Finn Richards with the ball, poked loose by Ben Blumel. Davon Share fighting on the attack against number 13, Sawyer Nachazel. Throw in here for the Eagles as Nachazel poked it out of play. Propped ahead. And a goal early on for Lander Valley. Finn Richards draws the first blood of the day. Sneaked on sides. 1-0 in favor of Lander Valley here at the 34-minute 19 mark. Of half number one. Hey, 
Second team shot of the day ends up in a goal for Finn Richards. Now I'm going to reset both these squads. High pace intensity back and forth. And Richards just got flipped a pass from Laird and just found the back of the net and squeaked by the Lyman defense. Laird looking for Bear Blackburn and cannot. Throwing on the far touchline here for the Tigers. Good header, and it will be an advantage for Lander Valley. Accidental handball by the Eagles. Now a full free kick in as it looked like Bear Blackburn tried to touch it around and, uh, spin, and spin kick into the back of the net and could not. Nate Brady to take the goal kick here for the Eagles. Share gets touched, stolen away by Laird here on the near side. Rudd with the ball at his feet, hands off to Nachazel. And that goes over the head of one of his fellow teammates and out of play and a throw in for the Eagles on their defensive third. One nothing the score. Lyman will tip it head towards the center circle and a throw in as it goes out of play for Lander Valley. Another throw in as now everyone from the Tigers trying to run forward here to create an attack. And cleared out of play and it will be a corner kick for the Tigers. Corner kick on the far side for the Tigers. Sent into the box. Loose ball. Good clearance by the Eagles. Brady with the ball at his feet. Rushing up the field. Trying to give Lyman a counterattack opportunity. And that goes out of play, and it'll be a throw in. Trying to look for Johnson. And cannot find him. Layered on to the feet. Richards looking for Blackburn. Blackburn has a lane. Tries to put a shot on net. Scooped away by Nate Nielsen. He'll kick that one away. Cher. Trying to get under that one. Babcock alongside. Correction. Cash Platts alongside. Cher on that play. Back and forth action here in half number one here at Bill Bush Stadium. one nothing in favor of Lander Valley on the Benedict's Market scoreboard. Goal scored by Finn Richards at the 34-minute, 19-second mark here in half number one. Sent down the pitch. Back up towards the center circle. And now a through ball into the attacking third for Lander Valley. They are on the run. And they cannot save it and keep it in play. And it'll be a goal kick for the Eagles. We have reached the 30-minute mark here in half number one. We'll take a quick side-by-side -side break. Precision, the quality, condition, or fact of being exact and accurate. Precision is important. Scoring the next point, making the perfect shot, getting the best score. And when you think of your dentist, you want precision to be the first word that comes to mind. That's why patients are so pleased with Dr. McKay Frankham. He provides precision family dentistry at reasonable prices to every patient. Dr. McKay Frankham, call today for an appointment. Call Dr. McKay Frankham at 789-8910. At YI, we are with you is more than just three simple words. It encompasses the principles we live by to serve our members and local communities. So if you're looking to keep your banking relationships local with a partner who will always be there for you, look to us. We're YHI. We're Wyoming. We're with you. Visit YHI.org to learn how you can be a part of something bigger today. 
Whether you're recovering from an injury, just had surgery, or you're dealing with a chronic condition, Evanston Regional Hospital Physical Therapy will help you every step of the way to reach your goals and get back to doing what you love. In addition to the top of the line facilities, we are the only physical therapy clinic in Southwest Wyoming with a full size therapy pool and spa for aquatic based treatment. Call today to schedule an appointment. Evanston Regional Hospital, helping you get your life back. Welcome back live inside the Union broadcast booth. Anthony Colasino live on the call. one nothing to score in favor of Lander Valley here in half number one as the Eagles trying to move here in the tack. Cleared away by the Tigers. Wyatt Nebuchert to take the throw in here for the Eagles. Good header away. Blumo on the touch here. Back out to Nebuchert. And now looking for an option in Joey Blumel. Ref's going to say fair play and move on. But a chance here for Cash Platts. Moving around on top of the box towards the right side. Hands off to Cher. He crosses in. High clearance here by the Lander Valley defense. Brady headers it forward. Another sky high clearance here. And now Lyman having to regroup here. Nebuchadnezzar. Try to get that first touch on. Richards will clear it ahead. And he'll allow it to go out of play. Nielsen allowed to go out of play. And it'll, it'll be a goal kick for the Eagles. one nothing here with over 13 minutes gone in half number one. Brady sends it away. Met by Blumel and Nebaker. Good through ball by Erickson. Hayford had to go way out of the net. Caught his teammates by surprise. And it'll be a throw in here for Lyman. Blumel sending ahead for Erickson and Cher. And another throw in as. A stoppage in play and a throwing ruled for the Eagles. Blue Mill looks ahead for Brennan Erickson. Erickson tries to keep it in, and Hayford cleans it up. 1 0 the score here on the Bendix Market scoreboard in favor of Lander Valley. Tossed out by the Tigers, and it'll be a throw in for the Eagles here on the far side. As a quick turnover, and now Lander Valley to throw it ahead. Good chip pass, and looks like it will be on at time here as Lander Valley looking for an advantage. Cleared by the Lyman defense. And it'll be a corner. For Lander Valley, this is going to be their second one of the day. Corner kick on the far side for the Tigers. Down into the middle. Laird tried to header it back into play and cannot. And it will be a goal kick for the Eagles. Marshall Hatch in for Joey Blumel. Hatch tries to go after ball here on his first touch of the day. Air. Pressured by Blackburn. Tries to keep it in. Blackburn steals it away here on the baseline. Tries to send it into the box. Wide of the net. Shot. And that goes sky high. And out of play. Gavin Johnson in the game for Brendan Erickson. Nate Brady. To kick it away here for 
the Eagles. Trying to send it ahead is Babcock. Now go out of play and a throw in and Babcock will receive the ball here for the Eagles throw in on the far touch line. And it looks like subs are ready going right beforehand. Number three, Ben Blumel, and number 12, Aiden Johnson back in for the Eagles in place of Marshall, Mar uh, Marshall Hatch and Wyatt Nebaker. Touch out of play, and the Eagles will further advance up on another throw, and as they try to send that deep into the zone... That ball will go out of play and a throw in for the Eagles. Brady, with the help of one of his teammates, clears that one out of the way. Download it here for it. Here for it sends that spinning through the air. Brady with a good touch that goes out of play. And it'll be a throw in for the Tigers. Wyatt Holloway in the game for Lander Valley. In place of Jacob Rudd. Throwing on the far side for the Tigers. Laird with possession of the ball. Go down the far side for Blackburn. And out of play and a throw in here for the Tigers. Richards to do the throw in honors here on the far side of the pitch. And that goes straight into the box and a save for Nielsen. Nielsen spins it in the air. Gavin Johnson with the first touch. Lander Valley causes a turnover here. Bear Blackburn tries to push it ahead. And now Lander on the counter. Lyman chips it ahead once again. Blackburn looking for an option. Tries to throw a shot on, blocked away. And out of play, and it will be a throw in for Lander Valley. 21 45. Let's go here in half number one. Turnover and a throw in here for the Eagles. As it looks like subs are trying to get in quick enough. Marshall Hatch and Mason Imoni in the game for Joey Blumel and Cash Platts. Brady will push it ahead off of the throw in. Rudd with a good defensive line clearance. Brady trying to kick it ahead. Lander Valley trying to figure out a plan of attack here as Cher now with the ball on his feet tries to push it ahead, helped by Marshall Hatch, and Lander Valley counters Lander Valley counters really well in the mid third. Laird with the ball, hands it off to Nachazel, and that shot way wide of the net. One nil the score, and we'll go for a, another break here in the action. At the Best Western Dunmar Inn, Evanston, we understand that breakfast matters. That's why every room reservation includes a full complimentary breakfast. Delicious, quality food prepared and served by an amazing staff. Start your day the right way with breakfast at the Legal Tender Restaurant inside the Best Western Dunmar Inn. Quality, delicious food and excellent service every time. Because breakfast matters. High School Sports, we love it, we support it. We're your number one fan. Trona Valley is your local credit union and we're proud to invest in relationships that go far beyond banking. We're proud to invest in the lives of our young members and their love for sports. You are champions in our community and we're here to support you all the way, on a court, on the field, or elsewhere. Together, let's develop lifelong successful financial habits. You're awesome. Trona Valley, member NCUA. TronaValley.com, we're here for you.
Welcome back. Live inside the Union broadcast booth, Anthony Colson live on the call. one nothing in favor of Lander Valley so far at the halfway point in half number one. Erickson fighting for the ball against Blackburn. Hands off far side. Air up ahead. Now in the attack as well. Lozier try gets the ball and gets poked away instead. Nachazel carries that ball up. Richards with the touch back to Nachazel. Blackburn looking ahead air with the heads up clearance. Battle between both sides here as in the attacking zone. Nielsen with a save. Hatch loses control of the ball. Blemel, Blumel clears it and a shot wide over the field goal post. Blackburn with his second shot attempt of the day. That goes wide. Goal kick here for the Eagles. Down the middle. Blackburn with the ball at his feet. Challenged well by Hank Babcock. Up top to reset the offense. Lander Valley puts one on end into the back. What a goal! By Bear Blackburn and hits the Cristiano Ronaldo C. Two nothing the score in favor of Lander Valley on the Benedict Market scoreboard. Goal marked at the seventeen thirty nine minute mark. Bear Blackburn with his first of the day. Richards fighting after that one for Lander Valley as he tries to prop it ahead. And what would it be if Lander Valley got two goals in a timely manner into the box? Shot blocked by Blumel. And it will be a corner kick here for the Tigers. Corner kick on the far side of the field. Down into the box. Good clearance by the Eagles defense. And we will reset and do another corner kick. Another corner kick here by Lander. Placed well into the box. Everyone fighting for it. And Brady will poke that one away. As now will be a corner kick on the near side for the Tigers. Lander Valley with another dangerous attempt to score in space. Now our chance for Lander, and that goes way over and out of play. White, Nebaker, and Davon Shear back in the game for the Eagles. Plays Nate Brady and Aiden Johnson. Lander Valley and Lyman. About 50 50 uh, possession wise through this first half as both sides have been battling, but Lander Valley just finding the back of the net instead of the Eagles. Good clearance by the Lyman defense. 
Bow for the ball and header out of play, and it'll be a throw in on the far side for linemen. Throw in here for the Eagles on the far side. That goes out of play, and now another throw in towards the mid third of the field. And it will be another throw in this time as the Eagles just finding more and more space down the field. Parker Byrne in the game for Lander Valley and Joey Blumelt in the game for the Eagles. Throwing on the far side here. Picked up well by the Tigers. Sent forward by Richards and now tipped forward by Erickson. And now Laird and Bluemelt fighting over that one towards the near side and Laird loses control and a throw in for the Eagles. Good touch at the feet for Cash Platts. But a turnover, and now Lander back on the prowl. Blackburn back to Richards. And a clearance by the Eagles in the attacking third as they will poke that one away, and it'll be a throw-in for Lander Valley. 2-0 to score in favor of the Tigers on the Benedict's Market scoreboard. Anthony Carlson alive from Bill Bush Stadium here in Lander. Lyman trying to work here in the near zone. An advantage waved, and it'll be a free kick for the Eagles. Erickson will take the free kick here. Trying to put Lyman further on the board here and possibly get a goal. Battle for the ball in the midfield. Laird with the ball at his feet. Tries to poke it ahead. Richards wide open, and Nielsen will come out and pick that one up. Two nothing to score in favor of Lander Valley. Eagles trying to work it around. Finds Platts. Not Giselle, not there to poke it away. Good attacking effort by the Eagles here, forcing the Lander defense to play keep away. Poked loose by Platts. And the throw in here in the deep zone for the Tigers. Hatch pokes that one away. And now a throw in here for Lander. Rudd will throw it in towards the middle third. Blue Mill. Kicks it forward for Lyman here as they try to start a chance. Laird, a good touch with the ball at his feet. Whistle to Richards, and now Richards tries to sink one into the attacking third and cannot. Laird resets with the ball. Whistle off to Blackburn. Looks backdoor cut for Nachazel. He fires one on and into the back of the net. Nielsen predicted it but just could not give the, get the glove hand on top and 3-0 in favor of Lander Valley. Goal scored at the 11 minute, 10 second mark. Lander Valley now with a 3-0 lead with almost about 29 minutes played here in Half number one. Wyatt Holloway in for Witzel. Ball poked loose from air. Share. Off to air. Back to Share. Johnson try to get a foot on the ball and cannot. And now counterattack opportunity here for Lander Valley. 
Richards with the ball here on the near side. Tries to send it up to head, but the Eagle defense clears it away with Ben Blumel. Odenair touches it a little bit further away, but now Lander Valley with the possibility of getting another goal on the board. Popped up in the air. Blumo tries to run after it, and it'll be a throw-in for the Tigers. The captain, Richards, to take the throw-in honor into the box. Looking for Bear Blackbird. Passes it off to Lozier, and diving save by Nielsen. And the score remains 3-0 in favor of Lander Valley. Ball sent towards the near side. Platts fighting after it here. Stolen away by the Tigers. Richards cuts one in. Blackburn shot and a goal for Lander Valley. 4-0 in Bayer. Blackburn's second goal of the day. Make it two on the day. And Richards gets an assist. Marked goal at the 9.43 mark here in the first half. Four goals on eight shots so far today for Lander Valley. The only offense for the Eagles is a corner kick. That was within the first minutes. They've been able to get the ball down the field, but Lander Valley with some really good last chance defense to keep it deadlocked on the Lyman side. Richards with the pass ahead. A man open and a back of the net goal once again. And quickly, Lander Valley now up 5-0 on the scoreboard. Goal marked at the 918 mark, and that is Bear Blackburn's third goal of the day. He has a hat trick after just scoring less than 30 seconds earlier. Brady with the ball at his feet. Richards with a really good touch. And it'll be a throw in here for the Tigers on the near attacking third. Fight for the ball here on the near side. That goes out of play, poked by the Eagles. And now Richards to throw it in for Lander. Throws it straight into the box. Share clears it for a second. Johnson tries to send it ahead. And a shot wide of the net by Richards. 5-0 in favor of Lander Valley on the Benedict's Market scoreboard. Ball sent ahead. Blackburn. Hands off to Richards. Interrupted by Cher. Blackburn gets ball back to his feet. Cher and Blackburn in a battle right now. Lozier on the far side trying to move it forward here for Lander Valley. Up top to the box for Blackburn. Laird tries to send it in. Goes off of the football post. And Brady and Laird, hard contact with each other. No call on that. But the ball touched the football field goal post. And that is deemed out of play. So it will be a goal kick for the Eagles. Straight off to Bear Blackburn. Lander Valley on the counter, and Lyman clears it out. Good clearance by the Eagles. Zane Espinoza in the game for Rudd. Throw in here for the Tigers on the far side. 
up ahead into the attacking third. Richards with the ball at his feet, puts a shot on into the back of the net. Second goal of the day for Finn Richards. Six nothing in favor of Lander Valley. 6.54, let's play here in the first half. And three goals within a span of about three minutes has brought the lead from what it used to be 3 nothing now up to 6 nothing in favor of the Tigers. Lyman well, with the ball once again at the center circle. Air off to Brady. Hands off to Ben Blumel. Up ahead for Gavin Johnson. Platts with the touch. Turns over the ball. Richards now on the counterattack with Laird. Laird pokes through. Challenge well by Nebaker. Lander Valley trying to push ahead once again. 6 0 the score. Brady pokes that one away. Air. Trying to fight against Lozier, and that goes out of play, and it'll be a throw-in for the Eagles on the far side. That ball cleared by Lander Valley. Another throw-in to come for the Eagles. 6 nothing. the score here in half number one. Now a throw-in here for linemen. They'll chuck it far down into the attacking third, trying to create some space and awareness here as a possible opportunity for Platts. And Hereford will let that Hayford will let that go out of play. And our sub in for Lander Valley, number 31, Dirk Harms. As Marshall Hatch waits a sub in for the Eagles. 6-0 the score here in half number one. Good touch by Brady. But now Lander Valley trying to counter well as a fight between two players. Richards gets the ball at his feet. Feet tries to roll in and almost an own goal. But Nielsen with the heads up. And it saves it. Lozier gets a touch. Hands it off to Witzke. Not Giselle. Off to Blackburn. Good stoppage by Brady there for the Eagles. Off to Platts. Back heel pass. No good as both sides fighting for the ball. Chipped ahead, still in the center circle area. Cleared by John, by Erickson. And now opportunity here for the Tigers. Excuse the techno technology difficulties here just for a second. That's back live as a shot missed by the Tigers. Nielsen will free kick it away. And now an awful mistake and a possible goal. What a save by Nielsen, keeping it out of the net. But Lander Valley still in a dangerous spot ahead to score once again. Back out top, Blackburn curves a shot and that goes wide right. Score remains 6 0 here with, uh, with 37 minutes gone by in half number one. Nielsen ahead. Good header by the Tigers trying to clear. And it'll be a throw in on the near attacking third for the Tigers. 
Lander Valley with a throw in here, trying to score their seventh goal of the day. Good touch by Laird. Laird still with the ball, trips on top of it. Shot saved by Nielsen towards the left post. And they're also going to say last touch by Lander Valley, trying to rebound the ball back. So it'll be a throw in for Lineman. Brady hands it off. Looks left side here as Lyman trying to start an attack here. Ball poked out of play. The Eagles will keep possession. Now towards the center circle. Platts with the ball at his feet. Looks towards the near side and stolen away by Nachazel of Lander Valley. And now Lander Valley on the counter. One man to beat, not Giselle, right there to challenge, and Ben Bluno has to keep it out of the way. So a corner kick to come for the Tigers. Not Giselle to take the corner kick here for the Tigers. One ten. Let's go here in half. Number one kicks it wide. Header in and a clearance by air for a second. Not so trying to get the ball back at his feet, and it will be a throw in for Lander Valley. Lyman stops the goal from happening. And it'll be a free kick for the Eagles. Brady clears it for a single second. Still in the Lander Valley end. Laird with the ball at his feet. Cleared away by Brady and a clearance. And looks like last touch by Lander Valley. It'll be a goal kick for the Eagles. Nielsen tries to send it down. Richards with the touch. Off to Blackburn. Stolen away by Cher. And that will do it for half number one. Our score, 6 nothing in favor of Lander Valley. After the break, we'll have the Wyoming Wild Meets Halftime Show. This is a First Bank of Wyoming presentation. Alignment Eagle Soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the MyLocalRadio Sports Network. The Valley Learning Center is a community resource that everyone is invited to use. This is Amy Jensen. We help those interested in attending Western Wyoming Community College with registering for classes and completing financial aid applications. We also offer a wide selection of community enrichment classes for children and adults. We even help our local senior citizens with technology challenges. We're a great community resource that everyone is invited to utilize. Feel free to stop by the center Monday through Friday from 10 to 4. Give us a call or visit our website. We're here to help you. The Valley Learning Center in Mountain View. On your way to Flaming Gorge or the Uinta, stop in at the store, formerly known as the Cash Store, in Fort Bridger to top up on gas or grab those last-minute snacks. Visit the store today in Fort Bridger, Wyoming. The store is proud to support the students of the Bridger Valley. I don't know about you, but every time I go to the grocery store, I'm filled with anxiety. Do I have enough money? Meat prices have doubled. How can I ever work on food storage when I can hardly afford food for this week? Wyoming Wild Meats and Lyman is the solution. Weekly specials are posted on Facebook. Beef, pork, chicken for one meal or a mixed order to fill the freezer. You will find quality Gosner cheese and milk products and delicious bread. Because overhead is low, the savings are passed to every customer. Wyoming Wild Meats, offering fresh domestic meats. Welcome back live inside the Wyoming Wild Meats halftime show. As that half, the score is 6 0 in favor of Lander Valley. As four goals scored within the last 11 minutes of half number one. We'll take another break here on the Wyoming Wild Meets Halftime Show. This is the First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Eagle Soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the MyLocalRadio Sports Network. 
The best trips away from home always come when you know you're among friends. This is Coulter Patterson, General Manager at the Come On In Hotel and Suites in Casper, Wyoming. I invite you to stay with us every time you're here. We've got the absolute best staff. Lots of our team members have been working together for years, and we feel like we're a happy family. I guarantee you'll feel that when you come stay with us. We're always glad that you choose the Come On In, and we'll do everything to make your stay comfortable and relaxing. The Come On In Hotel and Suites is the best place to stay because we have the best staff in Casper. Come on in today. Hiking in the summer, hunting in the fall, and sledding in the winter are a vital part of living in Lyman, Wyoming. Visiting the historic Heritage Park with its splash pad and updated playground are a must for summertime activities. Visit the new Frisbee Golf Course and make new memories with your family and friends. The town of Lyman is a quiet, peaceful place with some of the best residents in the state. Stop in today and make some new friends and memories that will last forever. Here with Lyman track and field runner Carter Bradshaw and Carter hopping straight into the interview. What events do you do during a track and field meet? Uh, my main event is pole vaulting, uh, but I also do the 4x1, 100, and long jump. Right on. What is a good strategy for pole vaulting? Because I see it all the time on TV and they bend the stick like way, way back to be able to get over. What is a good strategy in pole vaulting? You know, we always say uh, run fast, high plant, and if you've never done pole vaulting, none of that makes sense. But you know, just strong arms, really good technique, spending a lot of time with it. Usually I'm the last one out of practice to like 6.30, 7, you know, doing whatever I need to do. But just spending a lot of time with it, really getting to know it. And of course, you're an all-around athlete, basketball, football, track and field, you name it, you've done it. What has been one of your favorite athletic or just team memories here at Lyman? Ooh, um, you know, freshman year, uh, we won the state championship in uh, football, and we went to the steakhouse afterwards, and I remember sitting with all the seniors that year, and we got really good food. We had a really good time, but really just, you know, you could do that all throughout the, all through four years of high school, just the team bonding. We're all best best of friends right and so just all of that is super cool and i'm kind of sad i'm gonna miss it all so next question carter what is next for you after high school since you're a senior yeah so um i recently just got my call my mission call for the church of jesus christ latter-day saints i will be serving in the Artequipa peru mission and so i'll be spending two years there and then going to college somewhere <laughs> Now switching gears to get to some get to know you questions. What is your favorite home cooked meal? Ooh, you know I I really like chicken Alfredo pasta kind of stuff. That's me. But I also I'm a steak and potatoes kind of guy. <laughs> right on. Next question. What is your favorite music artist? Ooh, well if we're talking singer. I really like Gar Garth Brooks and all them country singers. But Garth Brooks is probably on the top. What is your favorite Garth Brooks song? Mm, so I, I really like the dance. You, know, you can take a, a girl to that and really dance with them. And, but it's, it's just a nice song. So. That's all the questions I have, Carter. Thank you so much for your time. Perfect. Thank you. We'd like to thank Carter Bradshaw for taking time out of his schedule to be a town alignment stand out soon interview here on the Wyoming Wild Meets Halftime Show. We'll have more after the break. This is a first bank of Wyoming presentation alignment Eagle Soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the MyLocalRadio Sports Network. At Reese Auto Service in Lyman, you will find highly skilled mechanics who will get the job done right the first time. They work on anything from light line jobs of tire alignments, suspension work, and oil changes to heavy line jobs of engine replacement, differentials, and all powertrain components. Make sure all your recreational vehicles are working at top speed by getting them checked at Reese Auto Service in Lyman so your time having fun doesn't end early. Reese Auto Service, 541 State Highway 413, Lyman. Explore Logan, Utah. We've got so much awesomeness, I don't know where to begin. Your hotel is only 10 minutes from the gorgeous National Forest for hiking and biking, bird watching, and wildflower spying. Logan is Utah's heart of the arts with more than 253 live professional performances this summer and free concerts every weekday. Catch the Gardner's Market and tons of festivals and fun. Head to Logan, you won't break the bank on less than a tank. ExploreLogan.com. 
Founded in 1938 with the hopes and dreams of serving the Bridger Valley, Benedict's Trading Company was started. Now 85 years and three generations later, Benedict's Market is still serving the Bridger Valley by offering the highest quality meats and fresh produce to having fresh baked items and hot deli options. Benedict's Market is your one stop for all of your grocery needs. Benedict's Market offers the best services in a modern setting to make your shopping both quick and easy. Visit them today at 950 North Highway 414, Mountain View, Wyoming. Welcome back live inside the Union Broadcast booth. Anthony Colasino live on the call here at the Wyoming Wild Meats Halftime Show and the first half highlights presented by the store in Fort Bridger, Wyoming. And so far, 10 total team shots for Lander Valley on the day. Finn Richards with two, two goals. Sawyer Nachazel with a goal as well. And then Bear Blackburn with the hat trick here in the first half of this game. And at one point, Lander only led 2-0 in the last 11 minutes. Four goals were unleashed by the Tigers to make it 6 nothing in their favor as four linemen, Nate Nielsen with eight saves on the day so far and only one lone corner kick for Lyman. Other than that, really no shots have been taken on net so far by the Eagles. We'll take another break here on the Wyoming Wild Meets Halftime Show. This is the first bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Eagle Soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the My Local Radio Sports Network. I don't know about you, but every time I go to the grocery store, I'm filled with anxiety. Do I have enough money? Meat prices have doubled. How can I ever work on food storage when I can hardly afford food for this week? Wyoming Wild Meats and Lyman is the solution. Weekly specials are posted on Facebook. Beef, pork, chicken for one meal or a mixed order to fill the freezer. You will find quality Gosner cheese and milk products and delicious bread. Because overhead is low, the savings are passed to every customer. Wyoming Wild Meats, offering fresh domestic meats. Sell or buy your home with a realtor you can trust. At Cowboy State Realty, we are dedicated to helping you with all your real estate needs. At Cowboy State Realty, we are working for you. Call us at 307-200-4332 to schedule an appointment today. For the beginning of the second half, we'll quickly do the Cowboy Sea Realty fan cam and a good amount of fans in the crowd today. That's a Cowboy Sea Realty fan cam as we'll get ready to start half number two here shortly. 6 nothing the score in favor of Lander Valley. Lyman will start out with the ball. Cash Platts to kick it off. The refs blow the whistle, and we are back underway. Air with the ball at his feet. Off to Brady. Back off to Air, and now sends it straight down. And Davon Share running after this one with some speed. Kayla Sean, and it's in the net. Davon Share with the first goal of the season for the Eagles. Let's see on the Risotto instant replay. And what a shot! By Davon Share, and he has the first goal of the year for the Eagles. Goal scored less than a minute in to half number two at the 39 43 mark. And now Lander will start out with the ball, and that caught him by surprise. Air just sent a long ball down the pitch, and, well, it was caught well by Cher, and he put it in the back of the net. Johnson loses the ball at his feet. Blackburn sends it ahead. Brady kicks the ball off of Rudd and out of play. And it'll be a throw in for the Eagles. The wind starting to pick up here at Bill Bush Stadium. Backdoor cut. 
Looking for Hanson. His shot goes wide. And it will be a goal kick for the Eagles. First shot on net of the day and a first goal of the day for the Eagles. 6-1 the score on the Bendix Market scoreboard. Layer trying to see it, send it down low and good defense here by the Eagles. That goal giving them some much needed momentum to start the second half. Up top to Blackburn. He keeps at his feet. Blue Mill clears it out of the way for a second. Ball reset back up top for Lander Valley. Into the attacking third. Goes through the feet. Nielsen saves it. Rushes in. And Blackburn does a somersault down the pitch. Air. Hands it off far side. Cher with the header trying to keep it in play. And now go out of bounds. 6-1 the score in favor of Lander Valley. Mason Witzke in for Finn Richards. Thrown here for the Tigers. Witzke trying to get on top of the ball and cannot. Rudd with the throw in. Lyman on the counter, sending it in. Good slide by Air, trying to keep it alive. Now at the feet of Davon Share, And now Lander trying to get a counter-tap going. Nebaker steals it away. Air there as well to help out on the coverage. And now Lander Valley trying to get that backdoor run going. Here is Brendan Johnson racing down the field. And it'll be a throw in for Lander. Kicked out of play. Another throw in on the near attacking third for the Tigers. Laird tries to cross in the box. Good clearance. And Brady helps out with that. Witzke with the ball's feet. Spins around past air. Blackburn sends it right side. Cross into the box for the Tigers. Spin around shot. Not there. And now, now Lander Valley resets in the mid-third, trying to go down the field. Air with a great standing tackle. And back out to center field as that kicked out of play. Actually, it's still in, barely in play. Air pushing ahead. Share and Platts on the advantage. And Share pushed from behind, trying to get to the ball, and it will be a corner for the Eagles. Dallin Smith in for Aiden Johnson. Far side corner here to come for the Eagles. 6-1 the score. Looking at the box, Air puts a shot on. Saved, kept in play. The Eagles trying to put it forward in. And they're going to say offsides on linemen. And it will be a free kick here for the Tigers. Six minutes have gone by here in a half number two. Lone goal of the second half so far belongs to Dave on share. Far side pressure shown by the Eagles. Ball into the mid-thirds now for the Tigers. Back up top. Chipped ahead. 
Lyman now having to go back on the defensive side of the rush. Bear Blackburn with the touch of the ball. Back towards the midfield. Resets here with Lazier. Towards the left middle third side. And now Lander trying to get in a counterattack working. Pops ahead. Nielsen has to run out. Get a hold of that one. Dives on top of it. Almost a deadly mistake there for the freshman keeper. Ball sent down. Not to sell right there on the coverage with Platts and Share. Share headers one ahead. Platts kicks it forward. Not to sell on the coverage. Covered well. Down Smith right there with the pressure. And they're going to say a corner kick on the near side here for the Eagles. Richards in the game for Carter Plystead. Actually, correction in the game for Owen Sweeney. And it looks like they're not going to say corner. It's actually going to be a goal kick. Blue Melt fighting with, for the ball. Sends it the other way on accident. And now Lander on the counter here trying to get someone going. Goes right side for Richards. Crosses back into the box. And a goal for the Tigers. Make it 7-1 on the Benedict Market scoreboard. Goal scored at the 32.09 mark. And wait and see who the goal is credited to. And it'll be credited to Bear Blackburn. Fourth goal of the day for him. Seven one, the score on the Benedix Market scoreboard here in half number two. Brady ahead to Platts at the center circle. Back up to Brady. Spins around here. Dallin Smith with the ball at his feet. Good first touch. Header to head, and now Blumel runs back for the ball. Tries to get up to Sharon, and cannot. Landon Jones keeps the ball at his feet. Chips it ahead, and Nate Brady with the ball. Richards throw it in here for the Tigers. Trying to send it down all the way. Blackburn is open on the attack. Shot blocked, but now still a threat of scoring here for the Tigers. And that will be a throw in for Lander Valley. Throw in no good. Cleared out. Smith tried to get an extra foot on that one for Platts. Ball remains in play. Nebaker fighting with Blackburn. Brady keeps at his feet. Try and send it out to Joey Blumel. Ball out of play, and it'll be a throw in for Lander Valley. Chipped ahead. Lander Valley on the attack and shot no good. Score remains the same at 7-1 in favor of the Tigers. And it's going to be a goal kick for the Eagles. 7-1 the score in this 3A, 3A West contest. Oh, 
up ahead for air. Shot on net. Ooh. Blackburn had a chance at goal once again, and Nielsen died for it, but did not get a hand on it, so it would just be another goal kick. Four linemen. The Eagles play Cody tomorrow, and then Powell on Saturday will have that game live from Eagle Stadium. Tip to head for Platts. Smith having to run after that one. Throw in for the Tigers. Richards throws in towards the near corner. Running after it. Nebaker has to just plant it out of play. Seven one the score in this outing so far in favor of Lander Valley. Corner kick here. Shot put on net and way over. The crossbar. And so far in this half, Lyman doing a good job with the pressure that has been, that has been put on by Lander Valley. And, of course, their team's first goal of the season. Dave on share with the ball at his feet. Down Smith pokes ahead, tries to keep it in play on the near side. The midfield for Lander Valley picks it up. Air. And Ben Blumel combine it together for that. Gavin Johnson loses possession here and now back towards the mid third and sent down the line and cleared. And it'll be a throw in for the Eagles. Throwing down the far side here. Lazier clears that one just for a second. Platts from behind. Ball lands at the feet of air. Nebaker trying to get on top of the ball as well. Blackburn with the ball to his feet. Back up top to Witzke. Laird on the left side. Tries to send it down. Poked loose from Smith. Lazier running with it at his feet. Loose ball from Laird. Blackburn moving through. Good coverage here by Erickson. Johnson comes back to help. Shot blocked. Good job by the Eagles defensive unit. Lazier gets it back for Lander Valley. Tries to send it ahead. Cleared by the Eagle defense. And now back to Nachazel, back and forth action here. Richards gets the through ball. Tries to chip it in. Nachazel, no good with the shot. Good clearance, but still in the danger zone here for the Eagles. Shot squeaks through, and Colton Laird with the goal to make it 8-1 in favor of Lander Valley in this contest. Layered second shot of the day results in a goal. Goal marked at the 26-10 mark here in half number two. And we'll go for a side-by-side -side break here in half number two. We offer rebates on energy saving products and equipment for our customers. For example, your home's heating and air conditioning system draws significant amount of electricity during certain times of the year. We offer cash back for heat pumps, which use energy efficient technology to heat and cool your home. We also offer rebates on appliances and smart accessories like smart plugs and smart switches. Really, for anything that draws electricity in your home, we usually have some type of rebate to offer you. Visit wattsmarthomes.com today. 
Uinta County School District Number 4 has established a tradition of excellence in academics and extracurricular activities. This is made possible by the positive relationship that exists between families and the school district. Our celebration of each student's success is a product of an entire community making student success a top priority. We are blessed with an outstanding staff whose interaction with students makes the world a better place. Uinta County School District Number 4 continuing our tradition of excellence. Go Buffs! Back live inside the Union Broadcast booth, Anthony Colson live on the call as Lander Valley leads the Lyman Eagles 8-1. to one. Right now, Lander Valley trying to clear the ball out of the attacking zone of the Eagles. Nebuchadnezzar and Riviera Jr. on top of the ball right now. Brady swoops in, heavy collision. They say play continues. Brady tries to punch it ahead. And they're going to say he stepped out of play with the ball, and it'll be a throw-in for the Tigers. Eight to one here in half number two. Goals by Richards, Blackburn, Natchezel, and Laird for Lander Valley, and two of those players with multiple goals as a lone goal for the Eagles, scored by Davon Share off a long ball from Odin Air in the first minute of half number two. Quick throw in here, Smith tries to send it down. Towards Bluemel. Nebaker chips one on, and Hayford right there for the save. 8 1 the score here in half number two. Brady gets the ball poked loose. Riviera Jr. trying to fight after it. He's on sides. No, they're going to say off sides, but not by much. Score remains 8 1 in favor of the Tigers. Booted ahead, but now Lander Valley back on the advantage. Richards with the ball at his feet. Pushed around by Ben Blumel. Stoppage in play, and this might be a penalty here. Let's see what the ref says. And it looks like, no, they're going to wave it off and just say play on instead. Brady. Free kicks it down to the center side. Nachazel trying to run after here. Heavy pressure by Dave on share. Hayford. Kicks out to Notch SL. Good clearance by the Tigers. Lander working on the far side of the field. Nebaker and Air right there to upset the pass. Chipped ahead for Down Smith. Touched by Landon Jones. Nebaker keeps it in play along with Aiden Johnson. Finn Richards with the ball at his feet. Trying to send it ahead. Attacking opportunity here for the Tigers. Blackburn moving around. Shot wide. And Nielsen comes in and saves it. Back to midfield. That goes out of play. And it'll be a throw in for the Eagles. A subs in for both sides. Colby Blackburn. And number two, Juan R R Rivera Jr. in for Lander Valley. As for the Eagles, number 14, Brendan Erickson, number 16, Cash Platts in the game. Throwing here for the Eagles on the far side. Goes out of play, and it'll be another throw in for the Eagles. Nebaker. Trying to prop it ahead. Good, good steal away by Aiden Johnson. And could not get the next touch to go. So throw in Fort Lander Valley. 20 minutes, 40 seconds left here in half number two. 
We'll take another quick side-by-side -side break. Explore Logan, Utah. We've got so much awesomeness, I don't know where to begin. Your hotel is only 10 minutes from the gorgeous National Forest for hiking and biking, bird watching, and wildflower spying. Logan is Utah's heart of the arts with more than 253 live professional performances this summer and free concerts every weekday. Catch the Garters Market and tons of festivals and fun. Head to Logan, you won't break the bank on less than a tank. ExploreLogan.com. Ready has provided safety and excellence in industrial construction and support services since 1982. From insulation and scaffolding to paintings and coatings, our crews are standing by to assist with new construction, maintenance projects, facility shutdowns, and more. Contact us today to ensure your assets are protected and functional. Interested in joining our team? Visit ReadyUSA.com. We are ready. Back live inside the Union Broadcast booth. 8-1 the score in favor of Lander Valley. As the Tigers continue to push here on the far side. Thrown here for the Tigers on the attacking third. Trying to set possibly maybe their ninth goal of the day. Poked back up top. Chip down and Davon Scher running after it here. And Hayford has to come out and pick that one off. Mid third here for both sides. Trying to gain possession in this in this contest. Lumel tries to get touch on the ball. Met by a lander defender. Babcock. Off to Erickson. Share tries to run in and get a touch on the ball. He does. Joey Blumo right there to help pick up the scraps. Rivier Jr. tries to find a teammate inside and said finds a lineman eagle in Erickson. Back and forth here at the midfield section of the field. And now a attacking situation once again. And that goes out of play. Last touch by Lander Valley. Looks like they're actually going to rule it a corner kick. So another scoring opportunity here for the Tigers at the 17.40 mark left in this contest. Corner on the far side. Curved in perfectly, and that goes wide and out of play. Throwing down the field for the Eagles. Intercepted by the Tigers, and now trying to go to work. Tries to poke it ahead, Brady with a great stopper there. Another great standing tackle by Brady. Shot off the crossbar for Laird. Ball still in play, last touched by Riviera Jr. And it will be a goal kick for the Eagles. Brady to kick it away here at four linemen. Fight on the other side of the field, and they're going to say a throw in and one by the Eagles. Far throw in here. Intended for Erickson. Good touch on the ball, trying to get it to share. Lander Valley dominating the possession so far across this contest. Smith with a good tackle. With that chance squandered as the Lander defense rushed in right away. And now a far chip into the opposing zone. 
Babcock trying to get rid of it. He presses it out of play, and it'll be throwing for Lander Valley. Richards looking for an opportunity. Good touch by the Eagles, trying to clear it. Babcock in a tough position, tries to get it back up, intercepted by one of the fellow Tigers. Sent into the box, and now back upwards. Good block by Davon Cher, and that ball will go out of play. Throw in for Lander Valley. Send it into the attacking third, Brady. Spiral kicks that one out of the way. The win almost caught it, but Nielsen luckily and able to get under it and save it from any danger. Good counter touch by the Tigers. River Jr. with the ball at his feet. Touched ahead by Gage Bradshaw. Ball in the attacking third here, and now an opportunity to score, possibly for Lander. Brady gets the tackle to go. Refs say play on. Lander trying to send it down the far side. Far left corner is where the ball is at. Now running attack into the box, cleared away by the Eagles. 8-1 the score here in half, number two. Lander Valley still with a good chance here to maybe add their ninth goal of the day, but great defensive coverage here by the Eagles, trying to clear it out of the zone, and they do. Bad touch by Lander Valley, now Blumel trying to get on top of the ball for linemen. Cher trying to race there as well, and Good clearance by Rudd. And Brady rocks Jones. Play continues here on the far side. Back up top to Richards. Goes into the zone. Shot no good. Rario Jr. trying to get to the ball against Babcock. Sends it into still a chance here for Lander Valley to score. Intercepted away. Loose ball and shot way wide. Gavin Johnson, Odin Aaron, Wyatt Nebaker back in the game for the Eagles. Nate Brady to take the goal kick for the Eagles. Sent down here, good touch. Air. Dribbling around, hands it off to Johnson. Now Sweeney to throw it in for Lander Valley. Trying to send it ahead. Babcock racing after it. Tosses it out of play. It'll be a throw in for Lander Valley. Hansen, Burden, and Not Giselle in the game for the Tigers. 8 1 the score here in half number two. Throwing to come for Lander Valley. Stoppage in play. And a foul against Lander Valley. They're going to say throw in here for the Eagles. Good header. And that trickles to Babcock. And he sends it back out to the midfield. 
Babcock racing after this one. Lander Valley beats him to the punch. Almost a sl clearing sly tackle. But now everyone running way out of the box, including Nielsen. Lazier with the ball. Hands it off. Burden trying to place a shot on through the uprights. That was football. That would have been a good field goal or a PAT. But no points from that in soccer. Brady to kick away once again for the Eagles. Hands off to Babcock. Down the field for Gage Bradshaw. Share wins the ball back for lineman. Hands off on the far side. Now good cross down the field. And they're going to say out of play. Last touch by Lander. Nine minutes, 40 seconds left to go here in half number two. Wide shot on. No good. Blocked by the Tiger defense. Sweeney with the ball at his feet, blocked by Brady. Battle in the midfield here. Gavin Johnson pokes that loose. Landon Jones off to Sweeney. Nebaker pokes it back away. Babcock right there. Some good standing tackles. Nebaker now challenging Jones. Now Lander Valley trying to tack on the other end. Blackburn with the ball at his feet. Off to Burden. Rick chases around off the feet to Blackburn. And now a scoring opportunity blocked and a good save by Nielsen. Ball continuing diving all over the place. And stoppage in play. Richards and Waitzki in the game. And it will be a corner kick for the Tigers. 8-1 the score in favor of Lander Valley. Sent into the box. Good clearance by the Eagles for a quick second. Waitzki with the ball on his feet. Holds up his dribble, hands back off to Richards. Richards trying to run into the box with pace. Back up top towards the entry of the box. And a clearance by the Eagles. Dallin Smith trying to fight for that ball against Jones. One back by Lander Valley. Jones, good touch ahead. Off to Blackburn. Blackburn trying to fight by Nebaker. Correction by Erickson. Brady has the ball between his legs. Poked loose. Shot. No good. Second chance opportunity up and into the net. 9-1. The score in favor of Lander Valley. Craig Hansen with a goal. Now on to the list. Here in the closing stages of this contest, 7.20 left to go. Nate Nielsen, a good job in net for the Eagles. 13 saves on the day. To the midfield section. Lyman working on the far wing. Tries to chip it ahead, and Hayford right there for the save. Across to the near side of the field, Johnson bobbles it. Babcock tries to get on top of it, and stolen away here by Sweeney on the near side. He tries to cross it in. Brady right there with a good touch. And Johnson tries to clear. Brady sends it even more sky high. And it'll be a throw in for Lander Valley. Babcock trying to win back the ball with help of Gavin Johnson. 
Blackburn, ball at his feet, shot way left. 9-1 the score on the Benedict's Market scoreboard in favor of the Tigers. They'll move to 2-1 two and 2-0 and two and oh in conference. Lyman dropped to 0-5 and 0-2. And oh and Brady to send this one away. Ball being moved around by both sides here at the center circle. Lander Valley looking to challenge and attack here. Poked ahead by the Tigers. Back out to Gavin Johnson. Jones with a ball at his feet. Looks backdoor cut for Sweeney. Sweeney trying to load it into the box, and that's tipped out of play. And a goal kick here for the Eagles. Lyman going to take their time setting up this kick. Nate Brady to send it away towards the midfield section. Davon Share with the touch. Hands it off to Platts, and Platts cannot get his foot all the way on and out of play. 4.30 left to go here in half number two before this game becomes final. And a group of Tigers now subbing on to the field. Throw in for the Tigers on the far side. Air pokes it ahead. Not Giselle with the clearance here. Sends it all the way down. Babcock going to run after this one. Takes one dribble. Proceeds ahead with the ball. Sends it towards midfield. Gets past Nebaker. Babcock sends it back down to Dallin Smith. Lazier with the ball at his feet. Racing it down here on the near side, trying to poke it through for a through ball. Babcock gets a touch on that. Blocked back by the Lyman defense and out of play. It'll be a lander throw in. Colby Blackburn to throw it in towards the near side for Riviera Jr. That goes out of play, and it'll be a throw in for the Eagles. 6.37 left to go here in half number two. Riviera Jr. with the ball at his feet. Offsides is the call against Lander Valley. Brady will boom the ball down the field. Share. Touches for the left wing side and Platts. Hands off to Share once again. He's tripped up and a throw in here for the Tigers. 2.30. Let's go in this contest. Throw in here for Lander Valley. Both the Eagles boys and girls teams will take on Cody tomorrow and then Powell on Saturday. Ball chipped ahead. Hayford will come wide out of the box to clear that. Hayford will jog with the ball in his, in his, in his hands and then now kick it away. And that ball trickles out of play. Throw in towards the far attacking side here. Now chipped back up towards the midfield. Good last second clearance by the Tigers. Brady 
Chips it ahead towards the left side. Sliding tackle. Try to keep it in play, and there'll be a throw in for the Tigers. Both sides still playing their hardest through this contest. Back up top to Nachazel. Tipped out of play by Platts. Landerelli working in the attacking third. Good clearance back up and then kicked back down low into the attacking section of the pitch. Johnson with the clearance. Colby Blackmore with the ball at his feet. Air sends it ahead for Dallin Smith. Smith trying to get past Nachozel. Battle of two players right there. Air tries to air tries to send it down and cannot. And that will do it. Our final 9-1 in favor of Lander Valley after the break. We'll have the Scott's, and, Scott's All Bonding Glass post-game show. This is the First Bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Eagle Soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the My Local Radio Sports Network. Accidents happen. Whether you are hit by a deer or hit by someone else, accidents just happen. At Scott's Auto Body and Glass in Lyman, they can fix damage caused by any type of accident, bodywork and paint, windshield replacements, or tire alignments. Scott's Auto Body and Glass can fix your car or truck. They can also help you keep your lane departure system running smoothly after a major or even a minor accident. Visit Scott's Auto Body and Glass at 125 Rees Road today for a free quote. Fast, fresh, delicious. Three words that describe your experience every time you enjoy a delicious meal with Jimmy John's. Utilizing the freshest ingredients, home-baked bread, and professional sandwich building skills, the team at Jimmy John's always delivers a mouth-watering sandwich to satisfy any hunger. Jimmy John's. Freaky fast, freaky fresh. Visit any of our locations today in Evanston, Rock Springs, Sheridan, and Gillette. Welcome back live inside the Union Broadcast booth. The final 9-1 to one in favor of the Lander Valley Tigers and the Jimmy John's Freaky Fast Recap here on the Scott's Auto Body and Glass post-game show. Goals scored by Finn, Richard, Finn Richards, Bear Blackburn, Sawyer Nachazel, Colton Laird. And Craig Hansen for Lander Valley as a lone goal for the Eagles, scored by Davon Share. That's Jimmy John's Freaky Fast Recap here on the Scott's Auto Body and Glass post game show. Off more after the break. This is the first bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Eagle Soccer on MyLocalRadio.com and the MyLocalRadio Sports Network. Precision, the quality, condition, or fact of being exact and accurate. Precision is important. Scoring the next point, making the perfect shot, getting the best score. And when you think of your dentist, you want precision to be the first word that comes to mind. That's why patients are so pleased with Dr. McKay Frankham. He provides precision family dentistry at reasonable prices to every patient. Dr. McKay Frankham, call today for an appointment. Call Dr. McKay Frankham at 789-8910. Farming requires working with the right equipment. At Covalos, you will find the right size tractor, tractor accessories, cattle chutes, and calf corrals for all your farming needs. Covalos has all your auto needs as well. From fluids to belts to protection for your hands, they've got you covered. Covalos also offers a service center for your truck and tractors in one convenient location. Covalos is your one-stop farm and auto shop. Stop in and see them today at 80 Reese Road in Lyman. Covalos, your one-stop farm and auto shop. 
Freeway Tire offers a nationwide service protection plan that covers service parts and labor on select systems, keeping your vehicle on the road. Plus, it includes coverage for towing, lockout service, flat tire changing, fuel, oil, and water delivery service, and jump starts. Knowing that your vehicle is covered at over 50,000 dealer locations nationwide provides that peace of mind wherever you are. Get the details. Visit Freeway Tire and ask about the service protection plan. Freeway Tire 217 Bear River Drive, Evanston. Welcome back live inside the Union Broadcast booth. Anthony Colasuno on the call in this 3A West matchup. And the Dr. McKay Frankham precision play of the game on the Scott's Audubon and Glass post game show belongs to Nate Nielsen on a diving keeper save that helped maintain this margin of the lead for Lander Valley. That's a Dr. McKay Frankham precision play of the game here on the Scott's Audubon and Glass post game show of more after the break. This is a first bank of Wyoming presentation of Lyman Eagle soccer on mylocalradio.com and the My Local Radio Sports Network. When shopping for a new home or property, it's important that your realtor works to make the whole process simple. Serving customers for almost 20 years, the professional agents at Bridger Valley Realty will provide you with the information and resources you need to keep it simple without missing a step. Shopping for the perfect home or property can be a lot of fun. Trust the Valley's proven realtors. Stop by and see us today. The town of Mountain View is located in the historic Bridger Valley and serves as the gateway to the high Uintas. With a panoramic view of the rugged Uinta peaks, you feel like you're in paradise. Our town park and scenic river walk offer a safe place for rest and relaxation. Looking for a great place to live? Our quality of life is great and our people are very friendly. Come join our tranquil way of life. The town of Mountain View, a gateway to the high Uintas. Going on a long trip is never any fun, especially when you are having to wait for your car to be serviced. Shop local and visit Scott's Auto Body and Glass in Lyman. Scott's Auto Body and Glass has the equipment to calibrate ADOS, known as Lane Departure Assist, so you know you are in good hands when you're needing your windshield replaced or your system calibrated. Tire alignments are done with the latest technology to save you time. Getting that specialized paint color or just touching up that rough spot is done with speed and precision at Scott's Auto Body and Glass. Visit Scott's Auto Body and Glass today to schedule your appointment at 125 Reese Road in Lyman. Welcome back live inside the Union Broadcast booth in the Scott's Audubon and Glass post game show. The Bridger Valley Realty Player of the Game Honors goes to Davon Scher for his lone goal in today's matchup in the town of Mountain View, Wyoming, Gateway to the High Uintas. Calendar update tomorrow. I will be live at Mountain View for the game between the Buffaloes and the Powell Panthers at Green Space Field. Kickoff for the girls scheduled for 3 p.m. and kickoff for the boys scheduled for 5 p.m. And then Saturday, I'll be at Eagle Stadium at Lyman High School as the Eagles take on the Powell Panthers. That's a town of Mountain View, Wyoming. Gateway to the High Uintas calendar update here on the Scott's Audubon and Glass post-game show. That would do it. Anthony Colasuno signing out from Lander, Wyoming. The proceeding has been a wholly owned production of MyLocalRadio.com and Cook Brothers Broadcasting, LLC. No portion of which may be used or rebroadcast without the express written consent of Cook Brothers Broadcasting, LLC. Thank you for joining us for this sports presentation on MyLocalRadio.com.